Boink. Chester. Can you hear us in TV land? Chester, I realize, is the same name as the treasure chest from Don't Starve Together. Yeah, it is, actually. Yes, it is. Anyway, how's everybody doing in TV land? I hope you can hear us in TV land. <laughs> What's the reception like in TV land? What am I doing in TV land? Uh, the Forgotten City finally came out on Switch. I doubt Whoa. even you could break it, Bumbler. Whoa. Ooh, that's a challenge. The Forgotten City? What? Yeah, I don't know what it is, but it sounds like it's a well-constructed game. <clears throat> we got double bang. Oh, look, it's these things. I'm going to kill them one hit. Yep. Or not. Okay. Also, be warned, there is a spicy bean in here, but I do also have milk. <clears throat> I mean, that doesn't surprise me that there's spicy beans in there. Yeah, and since these are the birdie bots, you have to eat them without looking. Uh, oh. Mm, I, if there's spicy beans in there, though, that's like... <laughs> eh. I was just doing that to torture you. No, <laughs> you don't have to do that. I am that. not doing that. I am not doing that. <laughs> I got cinnamon. Ooh. This looks like it's going to be cinnamon. It's either cinnamon or cherry, probably. Yeah. Oh. It's cherry. I'm waiting for when I get, like, dirt or grass. Gonna happen. Yeah, I haven't had the birdie bots in forever. I'm not even really a fan of the cinnamon, either. Like, cinnamon is too strong by itself. I, are, you, are you serious? I love cinnamon. Yeah, I, I like cinnamon when it's with other stuff. Like, you'll add a little bit of cinnamon to, like, pumpkin pie or things like that but just straight cinnamon like uh, yeah I like cinnamon. as a standalone flavor not yeah. a fan uh, well i do i love cinnamon that's why whenever i get gum i always get cinnamon flavored gum mm -hmm. taylor was the same way she got some big red cinnamon flavored i don't get big red i get trident i don't know why i like trident huh. everybody has their preferences yeah anyway we're supposed to go to Ibsen Castle. Mm hmm Foxy's cinnamon candy I hate. Like, especially when it's artificial cinnamon. Like, at that point, just use real cinnamon. It's not expensive. <laughs> you know what I really want to do? Like, what I want to try more Oh, of? thank you, Haru. Oh, what did Haru do? Uh, he subscribed with a tier one. He's oh, been subscribed you. for 31 months. <sighs> thank you, Haru. Fall hurts me because of that. Yeah, a lot of, like, cinnamon and pumpkin-flavored stuff comes out. Is it is it like open season on pumpkin spice again? Well, I mean, like, it, are, is it that time of year? I mean, we just got into fall, so yeah. Yeah, I just I didn't know if like everybody's going to get white girl wasted on like pumpkin spice lattes. Um. Oh, hey, there's our triple ball. Need to try a pumpkin fritter. Pumpkin fritter. Yeah, it's good. Oh yeah, like it's like an apple fritter, but it's yep, pumpkin, but pumpkin flavored. You, I was going to say, you you want to know what I want to try more of? Uh-huh. I want to try more, uh, like, international, like... Cuisine. Like, it, well, like cuisine, but I was thinking, like, more, like, snack foods and treats. Ah. Yeah, because... Yeah, you, you, need to, you need to try lychee. Yeah, because you know how, like, every... Like, it, you know how Baku has constantly said, like, um, internet, like, international Kit Kat is amazing, but American Kit Kat is terrible? I didn't know there was a difference. Apparently there is. I've never tasted Kit Kat outside of just the Kit Kat that we have here. But apparently Kit Kats in other countries are way better than our Kit Kats. Huh. So I... The only problem with trying international foods like that is that it's expansive. Yeah. Because of the imports. Just like how different can you make chocolate and wafer? Well, apparently, so, like, I actually was uh, reading about this today. I know we're about to get in a cutscene, but... Uh -huh. um, so, like, there's a lot of people out there who hate Hershey's chocolate, right? Yeah, because um, it's a milk chocolate. Well, it's not because it's a milk chocolate. People who love milk chocolate will hate Hershey's milk chocolate. And the reason why is because they'll complain that there's, like, a vomity aftertaste. So... Oh, so they're snooty. Well, I... <laughs> I don't taste. I don't taste it personally. That's why I personally like Hershey's chocolate. But apparently, Hershey's chocolate has this weird chemical that it creates in order to preserve the milk inside the chocolate longer. Uh -huh. But it it creates this chemical that is literally the same chemical that is in our stomachs that can produce vomit. 
So that's why some people, not everyone, but some people will eat Hershey's chocolate and they might taste vomit in an aftertaste. Uh. So, which not everyone tastes it. It's not like that's like the worst thing ever. I mean, it's already in your stomach. So, right. I mean, you know, you're already eating it. It's already in your stomach. Whatever. Right. You're just but, giving your stomach more fuel. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but I mean, some people taste it. Some people don't. <laughs> just... <clears throat> Whereas other chocolates, other milk chocolates in other countries don't have that. Yep. Uh, Japan has a big Kit Kat flavors. Okay. Or a lot of Kit Kat flavors. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then do you guys have Asian markets in Texas? Yes, we do. Yeah. I, I want to I go to like one of those Asian markets and like see like what kind of foods. Oh, and you've never been to one? I, mm, not that I remember actually. No. Really? Okay. No. So I actually, whenever uh, I went to uh, A&M and I was uh, studying Japanese as kind of like my language because I had to take a language. Mm-hmm. Uh, our professor actually recommended us to a Asian market, like in college station. Mm -hmm. And I actually went there and like picked up a whole bunch of stuff. And like the prices on things were actually amazing for some of them being like imports and stuff. Yeah. Cause that's the problem is that it's usually expensive because it's an import. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, you, you can find all sorts of stuff at Asian markets. There's, there's, there's a ton in the area that we're at. I'll have to check them out sometime because I've also considered trying out that Boxu subscription, but the problem is it's just so fucking expensive. Yeah. Uh, I've been to Hershey, Pennsylvania. Fun place. Nice. Nice. I didn't know there was a Hershey Park. Anyway, we should probably get on with the game. <laughs> nah. <laughs> we're going to keep talking about international foods. Welcome to the stream. This is the stream. Yeah. All right. Actually, I did have one more story. Okay. Because it relates to Asian markets. Okay, go ahead. Uh, one of the things that we did in our class was uh, if you, like, what was it? We had to memorize, like, phrases and stuff, like, like things that people in Japan would say colloquially, but isn't, like, something that is, like, the formal way mm-hmm. of saying it. And so whenever somebody was being too formal, the professor would make them eat something. And it's called natto. Natto. I think I've heard of that. What What was it? That, what's natto? It's a fermented soybean. Was that what that was? Okay. I, I'm i not 100% familiar. I've heard the name. Natto. Was yeah. It? It's kind of like a superfood. It is a fermented soybean. So, like... I think it's like the protein content and a whole bunch of other stuff is like stupid high mm-hmm. because of the fermentation process. However, it's got the takes the texture of what you would imagine spider silk would be like to eat. So if you just ate a spider web, that's what it kind of feels like. Yeah, I don't want to eat that. <laughs> <laughs> so I've I've had natto before. It wasn't bad once you get past the texture, but it's just kind of like a Huh. Like, it just feels like a thin silk string in your mouth. Yeah, because, like, the bean eventually just kind of, like, mooshes out, and it's just got this tacky, fa- like, texture because of the fermentation process. Interesting. Also, <laughs> the screen went dark because we've been talking about yep. food. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Is this old castle, uh, <clears throat> the old castle that Hilda told us about? Nope. <clears throat> strange looking place like it's upside down or something also let me silence my phone <laughs> <laughs> oh okay that's foxy showing me uh nato i think yeah oh yeah th- th- is this it yep that's it and that's the kind of that that stringiness i was telling you about yeah god that looks weird <laughs> that looks really weird Next time we go visit uh, Bakuda, we should pick some up and bring it with us. <laughs> hey, you should try this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just see his reaction. I, mean, I have a feeling we're probably going to do another weird challenge thing of eating funky stuff. We did that when we were over there last time. Yep. So yeah. might as well be prepared for the occasion. Yep. All right. I'll take three. Um, I'll take three of you with me. The rest of you secure this spot. Ah, so we're going to have a standing guard. Hey, Zidane. What's up, Amaranth? I work alone. Always have, always will. I don't know why you bother carrying dead weight all the time. What's your point? 
I'm saying working alone beats working with a team any day. And I'm gonna prove it. Hilda said there's some key here to break the seal, am I right? Yeah? Let's see who finds it first. I'll be going by myself, of course. Amaranth, you selfish, ignorant fool. Calm down, Rusty. B bye Yeah, let's let him go. All right. All right. I don't know what you're thinking, but if that's what you want, it's okay by me. Yeah, you're here of your own free will. Yep. Well, aren't you an agreeable fellow? Well, see you later. Alligator. Gator. Are you sure about this, Zidane? <laughs> I almost said Zidane. <laughs> What can I do? I can't change the way he thinks. Yep. Woo! F99! Wow, they've really released a lot of games. <laughs> Wait, what? What happened? <laughs> Leah came in and said, Woo, F99. Oh, <laughs> Final Fantasy 99. God, could you imagine? <laughs> you know, I think I've said this once before, but it's going to be interesting how they handle the Roman numerals with Final Fantasy 30. Oh, yeah. Because it's XXX. Yeah. That's going to be the <laughs> that's going to be the one game that is like only released on mobile and it's for that particular crowd <laughs> just to get it out of the way. Just, all right, it's Final Fantasy 30. You know what? Just just get it out of the way. Let's yeah. move on to 31. The main character is voiced by George Takei. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh god. All right. Let's get going everyone. We'll be Amaranth's own game. All right, so who are you going to bring with you? Uh, well, I think we would definitely want a white mage with us. Okay. Or do we want to bring Quinna? It's up to you. I mean, there's stuff in here she can eat if you want. But, again, mm -hmm. it's it, we're at the point to where you, we can pretty much get everything at some point. Hmm. And you're the one playing, so bring who you want. Well, I am going to bring... Uh, Aiko, because I want a white mage, and she's the best one. Probably already exists on some questionable websites. Probably. Yeah. This is typic This is my typical party makeup right here. Okay. So this, yeah, we'll, we'll go with it. Do what you want to. Do what you want to. Because when to get the disc four, I'm going to probably do something different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the game's going to be like, this is what you set up for. Why are you doing this? <laughs> because it's... Uh, I don't know what's going to be in here, so fine. Bird killer, because birds. Um, You're definitely going to encounter devils. Really? Yeah, I remember devils definitely being here. Okay, well, I, have our, I already have devil killer. Yeah, and then I think there was like a... No, that was... You already fought the stone things that made clones... So yeah, I think Maneater is another decent one, and then Beast, I think, is another decent one. Yeah. Hmm. I have the, yeah, I think that's good. So I forget what resistances you need in here, though. You're that's getting to the point in the game where there's just all sorts of shit that's going to be thrown at you in terms of status ailments. Loud mouth. Ah! Yep. I mean, he doesn't even have a mouth, does he? Not really. How does he make noise? Uh, maybe it's like Thieves Camp, where he just does it with his hands. Maybe. <laughs> or maybe he's like Kenny, and it's just muffled. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Vivi? Timmy's in the well? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we'll go help him! <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, he's trying to tell everybody that uh, he's trying. He's trying to like open up about like his 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 inner woes. Yeah, <laughs> he's trying to have a deep philosophical conversation, and everybody's just like being an idiot. <laughs> Who's a cute little black mage? <laughs> also, since you have mug, doesn't steel do damage now? I bl yeah, actually yes. Okay. And 
Honestly, I'm still happy with the gear we've been using, so. Yeah, it's just if there's any new abilities we need to learn. Not that I know of. Yup. So let's go explore castle. Ah, uh, Ibsen's castle. Who the hell is Ibsen? I don't know. Nobody knows. Well, actually, Ibsen was an explorer that found this castle. Oh, okay. So that's why it's called Ibsen City. Yeah, but y'all don't know who actually... Dagger? Who why am I finding just a random, like, low-power dagger? I don't know. Like... Show how old this place is. <laughs> that's barely useful. Yeah. Hey, you never know. At this point of the game, it's barely useful. Says you. You can never... You can always find a use for a good dagger. Wait, is that what... Was that what I just picked up? I think so. I think it was Aquamarine. It was... It's, all I remember is it started with an A. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Aquamarine. It was one of the crystals. What does Aquamarine teach? Probably Leviathan, I would imagine. Uh, yeah. yeah. Which because that... Aqua. Mm -hmm. Surprised it doesn't teach VV water, actually. Yeah, you would think it would. Any hoodles? Moogle! Hello. Oh, we do have Ooh, a letter. Yay. A letter, Koopo? How unusual. <laughs> hey, Kamul, how are you, Koopo? Us Moogles and Limblum are all wondering the same thing these days. Where the heck is Magnet Central? No one knows, Koopo. Do you know where it is, Kamul? It's supposedly very far away. You can't enter very easily, Koopo. I heard that you can't enter the Magnet Central unless you're riding on a chocobo, Koopo. <gasps> it's a hint. We have a chocobo. Indeed. Oh my god. Also, there's a treasure chest up there. Oh my god, there's a treasure chest up there. That's unbelievable. I can't believe that. Wow. I refuse to believe it. It's way too unbelievable. It's free Luna State. Yeah. Luna State. It's like real estate. I wanted to say loot estate, but <laughs> sure. It sounded to me like you said loot estate. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to say it under your breath without it sounding lewd. <clears throat> all right, what it's, do we got? It's, I mean, it's funny how some words like just you say it and it all it just sounds like something else entirely. Yeah. How you say it. it's like it's like uh, I was watching Game Grumps on the I was listening to Game Grumps honestly while I was driving over here, mm -hmm. and there was a part where Aaron said paradox, but the way he said it, it sounded like he said parrot box. Yeah. <laughs> or I'll, I'll, I've heard pair of socks. <laughs> pair of socks. Instead of paradox, yeah. All right. Um, hey, you'll create a temporal pair of socks. Don't you mean paradox? No, a temporal pair what of socks. What the hell? That healed him. Yeah, because you have healer on her, remember? Oh, right. Also, why did you only do, like... That is a good seven question. Seven damage. Uh... Uh, what? Are we under-leveled? Should we no. be scared? No, 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 no. Because you have Devil Killer on with Steiner, right? Yeah. And they only did 500 Dire Merge. Maybe this guy's just highly resistant to physical? Yep. Oh yeah, that's the that's yep. That's gotta be it. Insanely high physical, super low <laughs> magical. Ah, uh, you attacked a dead man. Why would he <laughs> do that? Because uh, the attack went off like it was cued before his. <laughs> You're death. dumb. You attacked a dead man. You're dumb. <laughs> it saves us <laughs> damage. Also, Fire a sword. Aren't these guys supposed to be called Arimans? Right. Uh, I don't... Is that the monster species? I I think... I just... I, I, I remember seeing these in a lot of Final Fantasy Yeah, games. I've always seen them named as, like, Ahriman. But in this game, they're called Veteran. And I never understood why. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so yeah, they're weak to magic. Gotcha. Uh, this, for some reason, I just got reminded of that fucking uh, Final Fantasy kart racing game that's coming out. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I have to try that. Yeah. Like, we have got to try that. Yeah, like, one of us has to pick up a copy of it and bring it over or something. Yep. Cat's claw. Oh, wait, no, that's that's for uh, Amaranth. He's not here. Yep, because he's all grumpy. 
And I'm gonna get the key by myself. Harpy the baby bird the bird the baby. Precisely. That's, that, that's an exact quote. Yeah. Which actually, whenever you said like things that sound like other things, it reminded me of a a song I was listening to in the car with Taylor. And uh, you're familiar with the song Man Eater, right? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. So, right near the yeah, yeah that yeah. one. <laughs> She's a man eater. Uh, so there's a part near the end of the song where they're just kind of like jamming, and uh, they're just you know singing a whole bunch of like stuff. And then there's a part where uh, I forget exactly what the lyrics are, but like he says something really really fast, and I think he's saying the woman is wild. But okay. every time I hear the line, my brain goes, Hoobie de schwa! <laughs> <laughs> and I can't unhear it. <laughs> Hoobie de schwa! The woman's wild! Hoobie de schwa! Also, he's, he's made of stone. Yep, it's a gargoyle. You want to know something fun with him? What? He's a gargoyle. Yeah. Guess what you can do to him? You can make him gargoyle. Well, no, but... Can I make him crack? Nope. Darn. I was hoping maybe, like, because he's made of stone, if you attack him, he's just like, yeah, no. crash! Unfortunately, you know? that's only what frozen targets, I think, in the Final Fantasy games. There is something fun you can do to him, though. Mm. But I'll let you figure it out. Very right, well. I'm going to have Ico attack today and then give him a little... Doink. Doink. <laughs> saves mana. Oh no, he's back to the HP he was already at. Oh yep. <laughs> Fat lot of good that did everybody involved. Uh, is his name Goliath? Whose name? Are you talking about the gargoyle? Wow, does everything here have like high physical, low magical defense? Potentially. Oh, hey, he's active. Oh, no. He's going to murder us. What will we do? We won't really he's mind. going to steal my bread. I don't like that. I like yeah, that. it seems like everything in here has magic vulnerability, but high physical defense. So right, maybe you know, swapping Steiner out would have been a better idea. Right. Or using magic sword. Well, yeah, he has magic sword. So no, that's not. A, that's, 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 yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna. I'm gonna I don't know what we could. Oh wait, we could do like we could steal with Zanane and or use thievery. Actually, yeah. We guard. Yeah, he's he's a stone thing. He's immune to immune to earth damage. How dare you! <laughs> you can't eat the gargoyle. I want to eat the gargoyle. Oh, uh, because of the. Cartoons got you, Haru. Don't change the subject. I want to yeet the gargoyle. Oh, well, I mean, you did yeet them. It just didn't do anything. It was just I for want funsies. to pick him up and throw him. Well, you did. And then he came back down. He was like, hey, what's up? That was fun. We should do it again sometime. Yeah. It's fun for him, and it's fun for me. Why do you keep auto-attacking this day? I thought I stole Oh, did you? Yeah. Also, I couldn't tell. Steiner's dead. That's fine. It's a natural state for him. Just murder that thing. He's doing a lot of damage. There we go. Blech. Blech. I just gotta deal with the gargoyle. Gradual petrify. Why didn't that do damage? I thought you had mud. Maybe I don't. No, you had it equipped in your abilities. Weird. Maybe I can freeze him. Oh, if only. I wish Blizzaga had a chance to inflict the freeze status. That would be awesome. Oh, hey, that did something. Yep. Oh, that one did damage. Oh, maybe it's because you missed with the other one, maybe? 
If you miss it, doesn't do damage? Question mark? I don't... Well, no. The other one, I stole a Phoenix Pinion. Oh. Then I don't know. Mug is weird. He's looking at you, you ugly bug. Oh, boy. I'm going to cast Ariel. Ow. I think that's probably going to kill him. But... Uh, wouldn't it be better if you used Reflect on your party so the mage just reflect back to the gargoyle? Just as an idea, I don't know. That would work! Yeah, it would. But then we wouldn't be able to use our white magic on our characters. Exactly. Unless you had Reflect Null on your healer. Honestly, that is always the reason why I don't ever use Reflect spells in Final Fantasy games because of that. Yeah, which I like this game because it does allow you to nullify it too. So you can just ignore it. So you can have it on and ignore it. Which is awesome. But you can do some fun shenanigans with Reflect because you can get uh, damage multipliers from it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Reflect can be fun. But the fact that it makes it a lot more shenaniganery to be able to just heal your party members. Yeah. It's just, I'm just... <laughs> I'd like to be able to just heal them. Alright. If I just, I feel like items are just a little bit underpowered in this game to be able to like substantiate reflect until you get reflect null you know mm -hmm. all right what's over here do, 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 do. i always wondered like why they designed this place the way they did because you it is it's clearly like upside down and right side up you know i don't remember wait is there... go up You can go up and get off right there. Oh, okay. So you can jump to the right or the left and there's loot. But I don't remember. Does this game take advantage of like the upside down thing? I don't or? think it does. It's just aesthetic. You can, you can jump off to the left too. Oh, actually, yeah. Let's go over there and see what's over there. To the left, to the left, to the left. Yeah, oh, hey, there's another treasure chest. A javelin. Probably for Freya, I would assume. Yeah. But I want the other treasure chest, too. Doop, 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 doop. What's happening? <laughs> it's my favorite thing to do in the game. I love it. <laughs> This stupidity is brought to you by Ibsen's Castle. Ibsen's Castle. <laughs> <laughs> like that that is what happened when uh when no. I broke what? Go down. Or you go or you go down this one, that works too. Oh, okay, that's right, I could jump. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's I all just, good. I just wasted time then. Yup. Rod. Rod. Alright. Um, I was gonna say that reminds me of uh <laughs> that one Oblivion stream where we broke the butler dude. Oh yeah. But like I, I rewatched it and you guys didn't see it because the stream was running at thirty frames per second. Uh-huh. But it was way jittery than you actually saw. It was more. It was more like from my perspective, it was like what you saw was like doot 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 yeah. doot doot but from my perspective it was literally <laughs> <laughs> awesome like you couldn't see it because of the frame rate yep. <laughs> but it was way funnier mm -hmm. actually you can mess with that door oh did I go up the elevator yep and now we cue the cutscene you're late Zidane and I'm the winner now give me my chicken dinner See how much time you lose by working with others. Have you figured out uh, how to break the seal? Take a look at that wall. Maybe you can figure it out. But it's no longer my concern. What do you mean? I proved myself right. I don't need you to follow me, in, or I don't need to follow you around anymore. We may be enemies the next time we meet. 
See ya. I'm gonna go get a sick tattoo or something. Ah! Who does he think he is? <laughs> it's his way. We can't change him. Even though you're the one that caused him to be this way. Let's get going. <laughs> I was born this way. Alright, um, I'm gonna go back and see if there's any treasures. Okay. There absolutely is. So you see that big door right there? Yeah. Well, I didn't mean to select that. <laughs> you Mr. Mashy. Mm, yep, it's a pony. Mm, push it. Eh, 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 eh. Hmm. Pound it. Push Ooh, it. Pound yeah. it. Twist it. Pull it. <laughs> now all we need is a bop it. Hmm. Nope. Uh, maybe it's just me. Oh, there's gotta be something. There's just gotta be. There's gotta be something going on. <laughs> Luigi, hump it. <laughs> <laughs> well then. Examine it more. Alright, fine. Push it again. Brr. Brr. Uh, pound it. Bah, 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 Stop my wall. I hate this wall. Making Hulk look bad. <laughs> uh, examine again, maybe? Maybe push? Huh. Try something yeah, drastic. Yeah, try to, something drastic. Yeah. Now that's an option. Eh? Eh? Who would Ha! That was no good. Yeah. Kick it. Give it one more good kick. <laughs> oh yeah. That's got to hurt when he does that. Yeah. All right, let's rest. We're tired. Meh. Hmm. Wee! Wee! <laughs> <laughs> I just love it. Whoa! What the? What the fuck? Beret. Ooh. Barret. We can dress ourselves like a fancy artist. Yep. I think oh. only... Girls can, can everybody wear that? <laughs> or is it only girls that can wear it? What is, is it an accessory? Maybe? Oh, oh yep, yeah, it's oh. an accessory. <laughs> I can put it on top of my hat. Yeah? <laughs> Why is it a... It, it's identified as a belt. Yeah, what, a beret is not a belt. It's a hat. That's what I thought. So what, Unless there's multiple beret... Berets... Beret... 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 Beret. Beret. The T is silent. Berry. Yes. <laughs> Bring me a strawberry! Uh, by the way, why is Aiko using a power belt? I don't know. Oh wait, no. That okay. That was just uh, that was still on the list. Yeah, she got the pumice. All right, so yeah, home. Wait, so the bray. Ooh, it teaches chemist. That's pretty nice. Yeah, who would get that? I don't know. Anybody that uses items, I guess. Oh well, maybe you can't use it. Wah. So it can only. Is it only a female accessory? Yeah, yeah it is. it's only a female accessory. Whoa, hold on a second. What was that? Quack. Oh. Oh, yeah. Ribbons are awesome because they give, like, bonuses to yeah, everything. Yeah, and the boots are not even teaching him anything anymore, so yeah. Well, I mean, he's got other stuff he can learn, too. Actually, hold on a minute. Uh, I think the ribbon is better safe for a magical person. Maybe. He can learn uh, chemist with yep. a maiden's ring. 
Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff we can teach him. Ooh, he can learn a power belt stuff. Yep. Oh my god, why does he have so many things that he can still learn? Because he's been gone for like half the game. <laughs> auto haste and auto potion would be nice. And we're starting to get all the fancy stuff now. Mm. <laughs> auto float. Yo. I can float in midair! Yeah, there's all sorts of things we can teach him. If only you take the time. Power belt. Alright. That's my one complaint with this game, is that a lot of the late game abilities you only learn from, like, the accessory slot, and it really slows things down. Yeah, because then it's just like, well, I can only learn a, one or two things at once. And yeah. Bull. Boo. How dare this game be a game that makes me do things. Let's see. There's something written on it. My power is protected under the shaking ground. Oh. Okay. The Earth Mirror. Uh-huh. Let's see. This one, too. My power is protected behind a tornado. Ooh. So, wind, st wind mirror, I'm sure. Yeah. Fancy. Are we looking at, like, the... Yeah, the four elements. That's yep. what I'm thinking. Probably. My power is protected underwater, surrounded by the Earth. Okay. Water mirror. And the last one is going to be fire. It says D's nuts. That means this one, too. My power is protected high atop a fiery mountain. And that would have been funny. I would have like, yeah, the last one's got to be fire. And it's just like, D's nuts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My power is protected by D's nuts. <laughs> Did we seriously get a random encounter in here? <laughs> yeah. As soon as I was leaving. Oh god, it's Tom Oh god, no! 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 <laughs> no! 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 We're, no! We're coming to get ya. No! Stay away! Oh yeah, we're gonna come up and say hi with no. our tiny uh -uh. knives. No, 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 no. I hope you don't oh, like god. your knee Why are there three of them? We're coming to shake them. You are Fenrir! <laughs> You aren't gonna have any knees left when we're done with you. Fenrir! <laughs> Kill them! You think that can stop me? Oh god, he's walking so Lightning fast! Lightning only makes me stronger! He's walking so fast! <laughs> he's walking so fast! <laughs> Stay away! <laughs> Yay, my teacher! Oh, you're doing the scholar stuff? Oh, I'm gonna go over here now. Look at these moves. Serpentine! Serpentine! No, stay. Stay away. I want nothing oh, to do with you. Well, I thought they were all going to go in front of Ico. <laughs> oh my god. No. What you get for trying to poke me? I'm coming in for a shanking. Seventer is level 72 right now. Nice. Yeah, I love that the scholars learn from a Tonberry in Final Fantasy XIV. That's awesome. They do? Yeah, that's their teacher, or their awesome. quest, quest giver for a lot of their stuff. <laughs> Tonberries are the worst. They're just standing there menacingly! It's great. <laughs> Boink. God, how is not even oh one of them God, dead? Kill the thing already! He's uh, getting so close! Uh oh. Everyone's grudge. What did that do? I have no idea. Oh, Vivi's a trance now. Good! That might be your saving grace, although I don't know if he has enough mana to double cast. I will give him mana. What? Somebody has auto potion. Oh, Vivi has auto potion. Give him mana. I don't. Oh god, he's getting so close. Hello. Oh, hi, Boomer. <laughs> so close, you say. Come here, Boom Boom. Yeah, that's a good girl. Oh, who's a big boofy? You're a big boofy. Please, please, please. You want to say hi now? How is he still alive? <laughs> Dang, there.
they're hardy. Boom, boom. Yeah, okay. Never mind, she doesn't want to stick her head over the couch like last time. Yeah, they're uh, they're getting close, my dude. Probably. Yep, there's the knife. Yay! Ah, uh, it's lovely watching Tom Barry's work. If we just leave them in Steiner's column, like, are they going to do anything? Or... Oh, my God. That they... was the one I damaged the most. <laughs> so when they kill someone, they just disappear and you don't get shit. <laughs> I hate Tonberries! <laughs> oh, God, Ico's out. Yeah, well, that's because you didn't prop follow proper Tonberry protocol. I am pumping my best spells into these assholes. Yeah. What does that even do? It doesn't look like it does damage. Ha! Did I entranced? Well, this is gonna really rock their world then. What is he even doing? Who is? The Dane. I don't know. He had him queued up to do something. He was already in the stance. Shank. And there's the knife. Blech. Oh, oh, you had him I was, stealing. I was having him steal. Why did I do that? I don't know. Because you're silly. Hey, you are being brave being in stabbing range. Darn right he is. I don't want to be in stabbing range. I didn't ask for this. Yes, you did. You entered Ibsen's castle. Grand lethal. Eh. <laughs> he tried to shake Steiner again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll end it. I killed one. <laughs> and they killed two. <laughs> Congratulations. It sounds like an even trade. <sighs> oh, they actually give pretty good experience. Because they're Tonberries! Yeah. Tonberries are the worst. Yep. Yeah, you didn't follow the Tonberry alert protocol system. I, I, I'm, 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 I've never figured out how to best deal with them. Well, the first thing that I like to do is... Oh, God. Uh, hi, Boomer. Hi, Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. How you doing, baby? How you doing? Well, she licked the, the, the bean thing. Oh, thank you for the kisses, Boom Boom. I love you, too. You don't want the bean... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in 13, a Tomberry steals your quarry, so you have to kill it instead. Ah. So, uh, in in this game, my opinion, the best way to kill Tonberries is to poison them. And then also cast slow, because then it takes them longer to get to you. Yeah. Because poisoning them, like, you know, they'll take percentage damage from it over time because they have exorbitant HP. Well, it looks like we got what we came here for. Let's go. Actually, I wonder if they can feel vulnerable to level 5 death. Oh, hang on. Sorry, I had to I have to fix my microphone. Yeah, Boomer, Boomer came in and booped everything. Alright, there we go. Anyway. Yeah, those sausage and walnut treats aren't her favorite. Which one? The sausage ones we just got. Really? Mm hmm. hmm. Really? Yeah, it's not, I think she, she likes the chicken ones more. Okay, we'll stick with the chicken ones. She likes the chicken. Because she's been carrying around the one that Addison gave her for the longest time. Really? Yeah, and she, she won't eat it. Because I, I know it's also a sausage treat, so it may just be spicy for her. It might be. Yeah. Might be. Maybe. Okay. It was it was cheap, so. Yep, worth the shot. Yep. You were looking at the... You were... Uh, bleh, 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 wrong voice. You were looking at the mirror for a long time. Did you find anything? Well, like Hilda said, those things on the wall must have something to do with the seal. Or... Nick. <laughs> uh, let's think about that later. We need to get out. We gotta get out of this place. 
Mirror, return to me. Who's there? Return the slab. Oh. Oh, whoa, oh, huh? Energy oh. flow interrupted. Energy tool, Terra. You dare get in the way of Terra's master plan. What is this thing? I am Baron von Wigglestein the third. I, I mean, my name is Taharka. Return my mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> you should say please when you ask for things. Fool, you'll regret this. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I went through all that healing just now. Yeah? I was secretly hoping you wouldn't. <laughs> to see if I could screw myself. Yep. Also, Baron Von Wigglestein is a great name. I wonder if Amaranth would have been able to handle this thing by himself. Uh, actually, yes. Really? Yeah. You know why? Why? He can throw stuff. I meant in story. Oh, in story terms, probably no. Yeah, that's what I meant. But if he had the wing edges that we have, he could, I think, two-shot this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Boink! Ow. Oh, wow, that actually hurt. Yeah. Forgot how fragile Ico is. What? Good God! Everything in here has horrible high physical defense. Yup. It's thematic. I, you won't be able to do anything. You know that soul. one guy that does all the physical damage? How about we say, screw you? <laughs> Dang. Well, he said screw you, all right. Good <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Fry Raga sword. I do like a good Fry Raga. Mm. I mean, yeah. Vivi and Steiner are doing more than enough damage. Actually, try Thievery with Sedane when you get a chance. See how much damage that does. Thievery? Is I'm, that a It's skill? one of his abilities, yeah. If you wanted me to pull out, like, Final Fantasy IX try hard mode, I'd push up my glasses with my middle finger and just be like, It does not elemental damage based out of how many times you've stolen in the game, so it gets procedurally stronger as you level up and steal more shit. Well, all right, then. But you know me, I don't like to try hard. <laughs> <laughs> I like to keep things simple. Yeah, I just like to do stuff. Yay, I goes back up. Yup. Thievery! Also, it looks cool. Ding! Box. Get in my box! Do it! it Get in my box! It was a trap. Eh, it's still better than your auto attack. Yeah. But yeah, it literally scales off of how many times you've successfully stolen in the game. Yeah, I remember you telling me about that. Bye bye! <laughs> Loud noises, closing door. <laughs> <laughs> I am now compact. I am travel sized. <laughs> I am fish. You can't do anything with a fish. Except maybe put me on a stick. Oh! Yeah. Well, he switched it up. Alright. No, no, he's just in a defensive stance right now. So all things I think will do less damage. Are you sure? I don't know. He said, he said compacted, so whatever that means. Let's try attacking him with a standard. Hey, that did full damage. Okay, I'm gonna, let's, yeah, let's try this. It did non-elemental damage. Bram. Nope. Oh, God. Yeah, he's just in a defensive stance right now, so you have to hit him with non-elemental stuff, I guess. Will he get out over that stance? Maybe. Because I don't really have much I can do. Uh, you could use Osmo. Steal mana from... Oh, cast Bio. Poison him. Actually, yeah. That's Bio does non-elemental damage in this game, I think. 
because there isn't like well poison poison doesn't really categorize as an element right and that's why i think it's just a non-elemental damage yeah ah, yeah there so we that go. bypasses his defense so you can at least do some damage that way Ram. wow he really hates Ico. what did Ico do to this poor shrimp man i don't like white mages Stupid healing. You make me sick. <laughs> what? Oh, yes, you make me want to shout. Stop your healing and shout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he goes. Hey, he's opening. Yep. Now I can hit him like normal. I don't know why now I want to see like a rage compilation of like people playing PvP, but the healer keeps, like, people alive. <laughs> and they're just, like, yelling at the white mage to stop healing or just die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, make me one shot. I haven't thought of that song in a while. I like it, though. I'm gonna have to add that to my Me's list. Dog. Ooh, is he hitting the whole party this time? He is. Boink. It's a good thing I Jeez. just did a cure-all. Yeah? This guy, he isn't really all that deadly. He's just annoying. I got my defensive stances, so that makes me threatening! <laughs> Not really. Whenever I turn sideways, that means I'm in defensive mode. <laughs> it means that I just put my card on the, the horizontal. If I was face down, you'd be sorry. Okay, I, yeah. Why do you have to bring so many magic cards to this battle? <laughs> did did Vivi? Did, <laughs> nobody else learn anything except for Vivi, who learned like everything. <laughs> well, he's got all the gods now. <laughs> <laughs> one is all. All is one. Oh, I love my hero academia. Plus ultra. <laughs> <laughs> you and I were both yep. thinking it. You'll never break. This here. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell did he do? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love his death animation where he gets all squished and stretched. <laughs> Just <burp. laughs> it's like he's making that noise that Tim yep, Allen makes. It's the best teleport noise. Scotty, beam me up. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite videos of all time, though, is still Dark Souls, but with all the sounds replaced with Tim Allen's run. Oh, yeah. Like, the, the Morrowind one is great, but the thing that made the Dark Souls one the best for me is the fact that there are filters applied by the engine to the audio. Yeah. So, it... It plays it back in different pitches, different reverbs, yeah. with different effects. It's and that makes it even better. Yep. So you hear it in the distance. It's ridiculous. Everything's going to be fine, because I am here. Exactly. <laughs> Just every footstep. Yep. Also, there was another treasure chest we never figured out how to get. Was like in an earlier area. Okay. No, I didn't want to go up. To the Why do you keep going up there? I was trying to. Tr I was trying to see if I could go to the left. You see the main. I was trying to see if I could go over there. So they need. Okay. <laughs> uh, Bloodborne, but with Ed, Ed, and Eddie sound effects. Ooh. Oh, I've seen. I've seen that video. Uh. -huh. There is a Bloodborne version, and there's also a Dark Souls version. In my opinion, the Dark Souls version uh -huh. is funnier. Wait. What? Go on the ladder. Oh, that, I, that Go was, down. That was me exploring. <laughs> I'm <Okay>. charging <laughs> up my laser! <laughs> Boah! <laughs> I had to do it one more time before we left. There's so many places you can do that. Oh, man. oh yeah. Where are you going? I was trying. Okay, I did do that already. Yeah. I was. I was exploring a little bit, and I wasn't 
sure if I did that or not. Understandable. Why is that one window not lit? Oh, it's not a window. It's just stone. Why isn't that window what? a window? Yeah, that's true, because there's right above right right it. There's a window. Yeah. Look out the window. This place isn't symmetrical. Look out the window. It's a window. <laughs> Can you jump in that door? Oh. Ooh. Hello. Mm, secrets. Secrets. Or is this... Oh, this is where we came in. Oh. Never mind. Because there's Where's that I? treasure box, and I don't know how to get it. How do we get the treasure? Can you go through that door? No? Okay. Maybe if we look around a little bit. I hate this place. Yeah, I don't know how to get the, uh, the, the treasure box. <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. Um, I'm gonna burn around here somewhere. Oh wait, I know what it is. What? Go, uh, go back down the the the, the thing, the oh, ladder. The ladder? Yeah. And go shimmy up the pole. Shimmy sham, shimmy yeah. sham. I remembered a thing about the previous room that you didn't do. Uh, well, cutscene first. Whoa! Hey, are you okay? No, I almost fell and broke my knee. Yeah, that was scary. Oh, okay. Maybe we activated the trap when we reached the top. It's pretty clever. Yeah. You activated my trap card. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Let's go. They're waiting for us outside. So yeah, there's a couple of spaces that have like the squares in the ground and one of them drops you on the treasure. We See? <laughs> treasure. Wow. Maiden prayer. Nice. What does that do? We already have one, so this is a duplicate. Oh, we have a maiden prayer? Yep, now we got two. There's a lot of maiden, maidens praying, apparently. Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, we did have one. Yep. Uh, auto regen. Okay. It's a very nice accessoire. <laughs> it touches our regen. Uh -huh. Man, I wish I could shimmy up a pole that easy. <laughs> that one's the worst, cause that <laughs> this one just looks like he's just <laughs> just 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 fireman humping that pole. Uh, Zidane, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. ah, ah, ah. <laughs> it must be his mating season. Yep. <laughs> No wonder he's always talking about girls. Yep. Yeah, he's just up there and you just hear the song playing. Girls, girls, girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he has a mog shop, too. Actually, well, yeah. Isn't does. this guy got the whole kit in the caboodle? He's got everything that we ever wanted from a Moogle. He's got saves. He's got Mognet. He's got a shop. He says Koopo. Yep. He has a little ball on his head. Yeah, he's like the uh, the guy that does like the exclusive furniture commercials. Mm -hmm. You want it? You got it! Come on down to exclusive furniture where low prices leave! <laughs> low, low prices! Really, really low! I'm going crazy here! I, I love commercials that are like that. <laughs> Like, unapologetic. I love those ridiculously high energy over the top commercials. <laughs> These deals are so low that I must be insane! I, just, I love the exclusive furniture guy because it sounds like he's about to run out of breath all the time. Yep. Like, is, is that just how he talks 24 7? Like, he sounds like he's yelling at somebody across a football field. <laughs> Watch you meet him, and then he's actually just like. Welcome. I'll help you as best I can. And that don't meet your heroes. <laughs> <laughs> like, dang, you 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 had so wow. much energy what, on the what, commercial. What, did, what what happened? Oh, that's just me acting. Yeah, it's just what I do. Yeah. He's uh, like, uh, sir, you're you're late for your uh, for for your new commercial that you're hearing today. All right, let me go ahead and get into character here. <laughs> I'm going nuts for these prices! 
that poor microphone. <laughs> uh, idea for Final Fantasy Hero. They are a pole dancer. You know what? I'd play it. Oh, God. I must have peaked that microphone when I did that. Yeah, probably. I wonder if it even went through. <laughs> yeah, considering our setup, it probably did, it probably sounded more like... Har! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for the protection of the audience's ears. A dragoon. Oh, a dragoon pole dancer? That would be badass. <laughs> Hell yeah. Like, they do, like, stunts and shit with the lance. Yeah, I could see that. Oh, that would be badass. Hey, sorry to keep you all waiting. You win, Zidane. You came out first. What? What happened to Amaran? I don't know. He was waiting for us at the top and left as soon as we got there. Uh-oh. I thought he took off. Is he still inside? Gasp. You guys wait here. I'm going to go look for him. Oh, they say it went through, so hey, I fixed the compressor issue. Oh, hey. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> hey, you know what that means. <gasps> no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> that would be mean. Where I am. <gasps> <laughs> no love rises <laughs> why do I feel inspired but yet this hurts so much what are you talking about Harv <laughs> oh god All right. Hi, you can go through the center thingy oh yeah that wasn't there earlier oh hey there's more treasure up there why did the treasure get under there hop in the bra yeah how do we I imagine you have to drop down from above. Ugh. Meh. Dropping down from above. Makes sense. Mm. Meh. I don't remember this part of Ibsen's castle, like, at all, for some reason. Going down an elevator. Ooh. Oh, look at that. It's like electricity. Fancy. Oh, look. There's a treasure chest. And floor, flowers or something? Ooh, golems flute. Golems flute. That sounds cool. Huh. Uh, wait. Yeah, what are you supposed to do with this? Eh. And then the burr. No. Maybe we have to bring it to the sword? No. Oh, I was wondering if, like, maybe I had to siphon off the energy or something. I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. I'm just. Yeah, there, there's got to be something that uh, we don't know yet to do this. <laughs> Maybe there's a third one we gotta find. Oh. To attain my power, fight against the flow of time. What? What? Who said that? I thought that was a hole. Yeah. And I'm walking uh. on it. I'm walking on sunshine. Wow! Now I'm just hearing Toad sing that song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's gotta be a third one that we need to get, maybe. Hmm. Fight against the flow of time. What is what? I don't remember this at all. You know, whenever we were making those like weird noises, like that was just reminding me of Wade because he would always make noises like that. Uh, that would be a quick way to get a bean for me. Yeah. A uh, dragon pole dancer styling over an enemy to inspire them, but also damaging them with the spear. Ah, gotcha. Oh, great. We got to fight things with just the name. Yep. Oh, great. This thing has high physical defense. Yeah, I would just run. Yeah, there is no it's way he's going to be able to Especially since they cast Doom. Yeah, I'm... 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 I'm, 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 I'm These guys are just... Grr. Later. I'm 
I am taking my bone sword and leaving. Yep. I don't believe in magic. I believe in bones. <laughs> Darn right. There you go. See, trader. Air racket. Ooh. Huh. So how do we... Ooh, but no hey. Hello. See, that was taking us to the thingy. Hubbabaloo. Does it, if you go on it, does it go a different direction? No, it only goes down. Oh. Was there any other ways in the down area that we could go? I don't remember this guy. Yep, he's probably yeah. got high. Maybe. Old double jowls. So I'm leaving. Well, you're not even going to give him a chance. Nope. He's just here guarding the castle like a good dog. He can be a good dog away from me. That's fair. <laughs> Well, this is what took us to that same room. Yeah, um, and, and that's that's only the 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 only the one thing in this room. Yeah. Yeah, there gotta be something we're missing somewhere. Fight against the wall. Time. Well, let's just find Amaranth, and maybe it, this is something we can. Well, come I imagine back to. this is what we're trying to do. Is we're trying to find Amaranth. Yeah, but I mean, he might be in like other parts of the castle that we uh, already explored. You know. This. Is Oh, there's a Yuri. Yay. Uh, you. Well, can I go? No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Hmm. Uh, How rump. Well then. Yeah, maybe go explore the other parts of the castle. Like the parts we explored earlier. They might be back yeah. that way. Imagine you go this way because the center was open. Yeah. But I, it was like, it was like the that. game was begging me to go that yeah. direction. Oh, hey. Oh, oh, okay, I'm back up here now. Uh huh. Uh, Is he up in the boss room again? No. Oh. Where the armor on the What you said? Yep. Where are you, Amaranth? Yeah. Where'd you die? I mean, I don't want to loot your corpse. <laughs> How messed up would that be if that was the only reason we were looking for him? To loot his corpse. Yeah, just loot him. Oh, Amaran. <laughs> ah, that jiggle. Ah, yeah. Come in, the jiggling. So this is where you got the treasure. Uh huh. This goes to uh, the. No, that's not right. Uh, that goes to that other area that we've already explored. So it's just that ledge. Okay, so yeah, he's not over so here. So there's nothing. Yeah, there's not. So here. I think we gotta go through that door, maybe. The blow one. That's where. Doesn't seem like it. Hello? Uh, who's there? Uh, who's there? <laughs> there we go. Uh. <laughs> Alright, who's it for? Uh, you. Of course it is. Eat it without looking. Not while they're spicy meat. Real men don't need to know. They'll just embrace the results. Looks like I got grass. Is it grass? Actually, no, it's green apple. Oh, well, look at you. See, isn't that lovely? <laughs> Yummy. See, you would have been pleasantly surprised if you had just eaten it. Well, it would have. Well, in my mind, I was like, it's either green apple or grass, and it was green apple. So there you go. Hey. Yep. Where are they? We heard the uh. 
Amaranth. Uh-oh. Oh, I can't handle this. Why not? Magic Man? Yeah. Who has really high physical defense? Nah, no. Ah, you're fine. I'm leaving. All you gotta do is cast Berserk on yourself. Later. Yeah, that'll work great. <laughs> Uh, Who's there? Hey, there he is. Oh, hey. Zidane. Why did you come back? <laughs> Hammerhead, what happened to you? Answer my question. I told you we might be enemies the next time we meet. Or did you come back to mock me? You say some strange like, things. With him just swinging his leg there lazily, he looks like he's just chilling. Yeah, he does. <laughs> the guys outside told me that you hadn't come out yet. That's why I came here looking for you. We don't have anything to do with each other anymore. I'm just straight chilling, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have anything to gain from this. Or do you? I don't understand you. I don't understand the way you think cares about what I have to gain. You need help right now. You don't care. You're willing to put yourself at risk to save me. Come on, we've helped each other many times since we joined forces. You're part of the team. That's all that matters. So, like, did he, like, fall down one of the trap floors or something? That might have been what it was, yeah. yeah. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I can't just walk away. It goes against my nature. And that's what being part of a team means. Isn't it? Come on, that's enough talk. Let's get out of here. And then we rescued the guy that has a bowl for hair. <laughs> Don't make fun of my bowl. <laughs> it's more of a helmet. <laughs> it protects my head. <laughs> it keeps my big brain energy from seeping out into the world. <laughs> it makes everybody think that I got a really big brain. Honestly, that idea is actually kind of terrifying. That, like, your thoughts could alter the world around you. <laughs> like, that's how tense your thoughts are. I mean, isn't that Professor X? Well, I mean, they don't actually physically warp reality. He's just a really powerful telepath. Yeah, that's true. But uh, actually, beholders in D and D have that ability, though. Like their dreams can actually alter the environment and shit. That's actually how baby beholders are made. Beholders are terrifying creatures. Yep. Anyway, listen up, everyone. Let's sort out what we found in the castle. On top of this castle is a mural, a map of the world. Uh huh. There were four mirrors on the mural. I finally see the creature on the bottom right. It's like a little like stegosaurus thing with a huge mouth going. <laughs> see it? It's got like the tiny little legs and then the tail on the right and then its mouth on the left. It's like, Argh! I can see what you mean. Yeah. Oh, they, <laughs> they are all creatures. They're all animals. They're dinosaurs. Yay. Yay. They're dinosaurs. The writing on the mirrors was in the language only I can read. My power is protected under the shaking ground. Uh huh. My power is behind a tornado. Why aren't I, why aren't any of these on the mist continent? Top, uh, top of fiery mountain. My power is protected under water, surrounded by earth. I'm sure the mir mirrors spinning. Uh uh, bleh. I'm sure the mirrors are pointing us to the locations that help us break the seal. That poor seal. <laughs> what the monster said before he perished provided us with a clue about the seal. Apparently, it's from a YouTube video, and he likes to say <laughs> leg a lot. <laughs> one is all. All is one. Also, he really liked My Hero Academia. Plus I love that show. Ultra. Meaning there is a connection between these four seals. I didn't even know there were four seals in that video. I only saw the one. So what do we do? Are we going to take each one one by one? 
One is all, all are one. We're going to conquer all four locations at once. Oh, great. We're not going together like we always do? No, I'm going to drop off two of us at each location. Oh, that sounds safe. I see. Hey, I'll go with Dagger. What? Why? It's called Ladies First Zidane, and we girls have the things to talk about. <laughs> uh-huh. All right, well, is that okay with you, Dagger? Sure, but where are we going first? Well, the nearest location would be... One of the locations you mentioned is just south of us. No, oh, you were listening to us. That's my job, professional snoop and sailor. I've been a sailor for a long time. I'm confident in my sense of direction. My power is protected under, underwater, surrounded by the earth. The location must have something to do with water. Why not go there first? You know, because there's not like there's millions of gallons of water on this planet. All right, thanks for your help. Please don't hesitate to ask me if you forget your destinations. And please remember to equip your sails properly while you are on board this here ship. You can relax, buddy. You're beginning to sound like someone I know. <sighs> please keep your seatbelts in the upright fashion. <laughs> All right, anyway, this guy's starting to sound like a regular airliner over here. <laughs> <laughs> In case of an emergency, pull down the air mask and give it to your neighbor. Make sure you memorize where the nearest emergency exit is located. <laughs> Here's some ancient Enochian script in case you are going to the afterlife promptly in the event of a crash. If you need a set of headphones, you're going to need a special kind of headphones because we use two ports. <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't remember those? I remember those. I haven't thought of those in a long time. <laughs> I actually, you know, what? I actually have an adapter for that at home. Like, like, like my headset came with an adapter for that. Oh, really? So if I ever end up on an airline and they try to pull that shit, I can just be like, ah, yo, yep. you're not selling me headphones. Go away. Uh, I almost misread the crew members' dialogues of underwear instead of underwater. <laughs> Yeah, like, you know the the only reason they did that because they wanted to sell you headphones. Oh, yeah. That's why they did that. Right. That's why they were so overpriced. Yep. Anyway. It is called a tourist trap. Yep. All right, Aaron, let's go. Yes, sir. Now departing. That is a very deeply voiced female. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what makes it funny. Yep. <laughs> I guess I can't really talk because I literally have a voice. Oh, darling. <laughs> oh, please. It's such a wonderful voice. <laughs> now get out of here with that shit. I don't know. I love my voice. I don't know why I'm like picturing you like going like you're in the maternity ward. And it's just like, I'm giving a baby. <laughs> <laughs> like, the, the, the. When she's when when she's pushing, it must sound tar terrible. Oh yeah. <laughs> just, <"Hah!" laughs> just oh god, somebody shut her up. <laughs> just fucking doctor girlfriend yep. screaming in the That'd be Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so where are you going, Mister Drunken Pilot? I don't know. Uh, oh, that's right. He was saying, like, go over here or something. Uh, he said it was south of where you were. Oh, okay. So the, the, the thing... Okay, so somewhere over here, maybe? What was your hint? He said go south. I'm yeah, going south. but also the clue from the mirror. Uh, it's underwater and protected by Earth. Yeah. So where do you need to look? Maybe it's like a lake in the center of the island. Nope. Because it would be like water nope. in the middle of Earth. Nope. But no. Nope. What, does that not make sense? I mean, it does, but that's not what the game's looking for. You remember that thing you looked at and commented on? Oh, the big spiky thing that was poking out of the water, and I was just like, wait a minute. Yeah. It's that. Hmm. That's not really a very good giveaway. 
Yeah, but if you look at the map on the thing, that's where it's located. Because it's literally all of those are located where they are on the world map. Where all the mirrors were positioned. Well, I'm trying to remember where that was. Hmm. Where was it? Boop, 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 boop. You want me to tell? Was you? it was it on this island? Yeah. It seems you're actually tough. looking like in its general direction. Well, if you were, now you're facing the wrong direction. What, this way? Yeah. Left. Left. That way. Right. Right. I was about to say. That thing. Be... Oh, well, now it's popping out of the water. Yep. Hello. It changed. <laughs> Welcome to the water shrine. Are you going to be okay by yourselves? No! You're the one who suggested we split up. What? Don't you trust me and Dagger? It's not that I don't trust you. <laughs> you just wanted to pair up with Dagger. You better get going. We need to take all the points simultaneously. You're right. Where are you going next, and who are you going to drop off? My power is to protect high atop a fiery mountain. I think I'll ask Freya and Amaranth to take that location. Alright, now let's get going. Don't make us ladies wait. I'll be back uh, to get you guys soon. Well, now that the men are gone, we can do all that girl talk that we want. Girl talk? Yeah, she doesn't... Like, she, she's been so, like, kept out of the public eye, she doesn't even know. Yep. Alright. Quinna, get in here. Yay! <laughs> Alright. High atop of uh, Fiery Mountain. Yep. A volcano. Yep. You know where, where that is, where, right? Where have we seen a volcano? Oh, that's right. There's a volcano on the icy mountain. Yep. I he's, remember that. He's remembering everybody. <laughs> he's learning. There it is. Hello. <laughs> Just yeet them into the lava. Good luck. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, no! <laughs> We're going to overheat. Just a little closer. Dane, the heat's going to kill the engine if we get any closer. Okay, when we get closer to the volcano, you two head to the for the shrine's entrance. Why do I have to go with her? Oh, sorry. Did you want to go with Ico? No. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> you made your point. Good luck. I'm frazzled, I'm frazzled. I'm the party leader. All right, our next destination <laughs> is protected behind a tornado. Pairing up Steiner and Quinna seems like a bad idea. I think I'll ask Vivi to babysit Steiner. <laughs> <laughs> Vivi is babysitting Steiner. Yeah, which means who do we get to party up with? We get to party up with Quinna. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> the part of the game that everybody regrets not leveling up Quinna. <laughs> Alright, so we're... Uh, the, the only part of the game that I remember there being a tornado was when there was that huge sandstorm. Yeah, no, that's not but that it. that can't be it, no. This one is very misleading. So it's actually on the uh, the continent that the water one was on. Wait, really? Yeah, it has two. Hubba? Actually, that does make sense because the mirrors were placed in like the places where they were. Yep. Yeah, there was like three on the left side of the map and one in the top right. So apparently there's a tornado here somewhere? Not this one, it's the other one. The bottom left continent. Oh, okay, I'm thinking of the wrong place. Yeah, you're getting ahead of yourself. You have to do them in a particular order to drop everyone else. Right, so apparently there's a tornado over here somewhere. <laughs> Wow. 
I can honestly hear this music in like a Pokemon game for some reason. Actually, yeah. It does sound like Pokemon music. Looking for a tornado. I'll go ahead and tell you, you're not going to find a tornado. What? There's no visual identifier for this one. What? It says hidden behind a tornado. Yeah, you just passed it. I passed it just yeah, now? You just passed it. There's nothing here. Yep, no, you just passed it again. Again? Yeah, look. I was just turning around. Yeah, look left. There, you're like facing right towards it with the ship. There is nothing there. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Take a right. It's that. <laughs> that is not a tornado. <laughs> That is not a tornado! <laughs> <laughs> I will be honest with you, I would have never figured that out. I know, that's why I helped. <laughs> I would have never figured that out. Where's the tornado? Yeah, there's no tornado. It's stop it said hit behind a tornado! <laughs> it's literally the description! I know. <laughs> That's dumb! <laughs> also, I love this scene. This scene is oh, great. Okay. Alright, anyway. Wow, the wind is strong. It's the wind shrine, so it's protected by strong gusts. Be careful not to get blown away. There's no need to worry. Master Vivi, just follow me. Uh, okay. See? There's nothing to fear. Really? <laughs> Master Vivi! <Master Mimi. laughs> you're okay because you're wearing armor. It's weighing him down. Yep. Let us move forward, Master Vivi. Are you gonna be okay? <laughs> but I'm with Quinna. I should worry more about myself. Yep. We should check our equipment and see what blue magic Quinn I can use. Yeah. My per tower is my my tower. My, my power tower. is my power is protected under the shaking ground. Huh. So what can you expect? Well, there had there was a point in the game where we came across something where like the ground was shaking. Yep. Yeah, that's it. So. So what do you know about this guardian? Again, I have like I haven't been this far in the game more than like a few okay. times. Okay. You don't you don't so need don't that remember. information. The game has given you information. What type of shrine is this? It's earth. So what type of damage can you expect? Earth damage. So what should you equip for? Earth damage. There you go. That'll make the, this fight so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I think it was around here somewhere? Yeah, you're heading in the right direction. Yep, I, yep, here we go. So it's around here somewhere. Yeah, I think it's yeah, I think it's over there. Straight ahead. I go over here. Oh I yeah. I think this is it. Yeah. Alright, so I wanna make sure I quit first. Yep. I know so many people that go into this fight and they don't freaking check their equipment for like protection from earth damage and then they get rocked because they never used Queena. let's see I don't think there's anything that like abilities that we know that would protect us from earth so. auto float actually yeah that's true auto float is a thing yep it pretty much flips the bird to earth damage Stone killer because yeah, I mean it's a good idea. Um, and yeah, we'll go with the last one. So Quina. Oh yeah, she has auto float too. Yep, perfect. So just need to get rid of something that eh, get rid of anybody. That's fine. Yay, floaty party. All right, floaties. Uh, I mean, is there anything else we can do? Uh, some equipment might protect you from damage, but. Since you're floating, Earth isn't going to hurt you anyway, I think. I would imagine not, because yeah. we are floating. Yeah, so I think you're good. 
I know you can get some accessories and stuff that like reduce or absorb earth damage though. Actually, I'm gonna land nearby and save first. Okie dokie. If it'll let me. <laughs> can you not land in this area? Because it's all shaky. It's not letting me land. Oh, oh wait, there, there we go. go. <laughs> I had to find a very specific sweet spot. Yeah. Interesting. I'm a tent. Wow. It's been a while since we've used one of those. Oh, look at that's a big ass tent. Compared to the airship, like, oh my god. <laughs> the tent is huge <laughs> tent. Holy moly. It's like a freaking tower. Yeah, it's like the uh, other Final Fantasy games where it was cabin before it was tent. Or like cabin was like the upgraded form of the tent. And do not question keeping an entire cabin in your inventory. <laughs> yep. Hit really? You'll be sorry, Koopa. What? <laughs> For not saving? I thought I did save. Alright, let's let's double check. I'm pretty sure I just saved. I was going off yeah. autopilot, but yeah. No, you saved. saved. I'm wondering if it was just foreshadowing, like, you're about to do something stupid, Koopo. Oh, well. All right. right. Well. I'm sharpening my knife, Koopo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you only enter from the airship? Really? Ha! <laughs> no, no encounters, please. Thank you. That's awesome. At least I saved. So. Yep. Yeah, it feels like you could totally just walk to the Earth Shrine. Like, all the other ones I understand. The airship being needed, but this one, yeah. Yeah, it's right there. Let's get going. Ah, Sadin. You want to go with me. <laughs> well, I sort of got stuck with the leftovers. You don't have to explain. I'm so happy. <laughs> <sighs> They're old saying in my time. Leftovers, good. Let's hope we find good things in this game. It's probably full of good food. <laughs> Thank you, Quina. Yay! There's no one here, isn't there? Yeah? What? What wrong? Just shake? Well, Whee! it is the Earth Shrine. Oh. We need to jump at the right time. We don't make mistake next time. We. Oh, wait. Nope. That wasn't it. Nope. You did it right. Oh, I did? Oh, okay. This place is empty. It's too quiet. I probably got scared of us and ran away. I hope so. Ah! I hate it when you fret like that. That's why I always worry about you. Oh, what are you talking about? Oh, nothing. I just have a lot of things on my mind. Hmm. Mm hmm? Uh -oh. Look out! Hi -ya! Tiki! <laughs> <laughs> We're almost flat like pancake. I hope there aren't too many more of those. Dagger, please be safe. What? What the? It's a trap. Be careful. Woo! Ah! Let's go, Arco. Wee! Get out of there! All right, how's the others doing? Oh, they've already gotten there. Oh, wait, nope. Oh. Aha! His place put mirror. <laughs> I'll place the mirror right here. Uh Oh, I know, I know who this one is. I Well, I no, I'm going to give him the skeletal voice. I've been waiting for you. Oh, <laughs> really? It's the one I think it is. That was too easy. It must have been disappointing for you. Eh. Now, I'll place the mirror here. Yeah, they had no trouble whatsoever. Freya, stand back. Shweep. 
It's just as Kuja said. He said I should expect intruders. Ah, so Kuja give him a heads up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see why you gave him Skeletor voice. Yeah, he's a bony lord. Are you under Kuja's command? He's not a good person. Why you work for him? No! We are guardians of Terra! <laughs> guardians of Terra? Yeah, it's like a band. Yeah. Yes, we are the guardians of Terra. Filled with the power of Terra itself. What is Terra? We did not become guardians to chat with mortals. We derive pleasure from ending your worthless lives. Oh, well, they aren't very pleasant. Just to prove how powerful you are. So you understand, but will that knowledge help you? Foolish. What? Picking fights with strangers in a place like this. I used to know someone like that. He was a loser. You're a loser! <laughs> Big, big anyway. He refused to find beneficial ways to use his power. Instead, he'd seek out people to find. Amarant. What, what are you talking about? We'll show you what he means. <coughs> Interesting. But you'll regret this. Yay! Oh boy. I'll let you voice this one. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, he's like a big bug. Finished already? Yes, we can. Actually, that's Tiamat. What? That's Tiamat. It's, oh, that's Tiamat right yep. there? It's a oh. dragon. Oh, okay. Yo. He's so fast. I can't target him with my magic. We can't take him on with just the two of us. Just oh, the Tiamat. two of us. Tiamat's the name of the dragon that we're trying to stop from being revived in our campaign. Yep. Damn it, that's good. Mm. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, in D&D, &D, Tiamat's a five-headed, multicolored dragon. Yep. Anyway. Master Vivi, a true man never gives up in a fight. But, but, but... We can defeat this monster if we work together. So, which one of you will perish first? Silence! I shall vanquish you. What? Master Vivi, I shall attempt to hold him down. You attack him with your magic while I hold him down. With my substantial girth. <laughs> and my amazing armor. It's very weighty. But, but what, what if I miss the target? I trust you, baby. And I can take it. Okay. Uh, who would have thought? Ice in a water temple. Yep, yeah, didn't know the Teen Titans are here. <laughs> uh, this is you. Yep. Kuja told us there'd be eight rats. Sorry, it's just the two of us. Did you have a feast prepared? You don't worry. We eat everything. <laughs> Good old Gwyneth. Ah, so you're attempting to conquer all four shrines at once. How futile. We'll see about that. Must try eating before we give up. <laughs> what will your lower life forms do on Terra? We won't know until we get there. Must eat to find out what tastes good. Is my lesson from traveling around world. <laughs> Good. I shall show you the true meaning of fear. Woo! All right. Well, oh, time we to never fight saw the work. water shrine boss. Actually, yeah, we—they didn't show us that one. Aww. I love the design on this guy. No, no, yeah, he—he he looks really cool. His design is awesome, but look at his pinkies. Yep. He got huge pinkies. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my pinkies! <laughs> They're swollen beyond belief! <laughs> Alright, so what's your game plan for this guy? Uh, well... I wonder if he's susceptible to level 4 holy. 
Uh, we can find out. Yeah, we can try it. Also, I forgot we had auto float on. Yep, so we're floating. We're very floaty. Ooh, ah. Oh. No. Boo. Work on him. Oh god. Zidane's doing a lot of damage. That okay, worked so, though. Yeah, he's he's got low physical defense. Yep. So how much do you know about these guardians of Terra? Very little actually. Because again, I haven't gotten like I've been this far in the game, but only a couple times. Gotcha. You want to know a fun fact? What? These guys are actually a reference. They are? Yep. What are they a reference to? Final Fantasy One. Really? Yep. I would not. I would never catch it because I de I didn't really play that one. In Final Fantasy One, there's four bosses that you have to hunt down and beat, uh, called the Four Fiends. Okay. Is that like a big? I'm assuming that's a huge plot point for the game. It's it. Yeah, that's pretty much like you know from the beginning of the game. Like that's what you have to do is go and conquer the Four Fiends. Okay. And each one of them is aligned with an element. So you go to a volcano and you fight the fire one. You go uh, deep underground and you fight the earth one. And then uh, you get the ship and then you fight like the water one and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Actually, you go underwater and fight the water one. But uh, in order, they're Lich. Uh, I always forget the fire one's name. It's the lady. The one that Frey and Amaranth are fighting. Yeah. Um... And then there's Kraken, and there's Tiamat. And Tiamat was the last of the... And they were the wind one. Okay. And, uh, yeah, and Kraken is probably... The, the water one. Dagger and Ico are fighting. Probably, yeah. But, yeah, we only fight uh, Lich at this point. Which, he was always the the easiest of the four fiends in Final Fantasy One because he's the first one you fight. And this guy loves slapping uh, white mages to death <laughs> in that game. <laughs> yeah, I, he probably just thinks like, oh, white mage, well, I need to kill you fast to make sure you can't heal. Yeah. But yeah. Ha <laughs> I'm floating. Yup. They actually made him more earth-based like in this game, because in Final Fantasy 1, he was more like undead necromancer, because his name was Lich, so... Okay. He didn't really do a whole bunch of, like, Earth shenanigans in that game. My wind won't do me anything right now, so... You know what? Just do it. There's a little bit of damage. But, yeah. All of these, uh... A lot of... There's a lot of stuff from Terra that references Final Fantasy 1. Because even Garland is a reference. He's the first boss you fight in Final Fantasy 1. I do know the name Garland is like one of those names. That it pops up a lot. It pops up a lot throughout the whole series. Yeah. So I know like I'm most familiar with Garland as um, Sid's last name in uh, 14. Yeah. Like I always wondered if like Terra is like Final Fantasy One's world, but like in the distant future or something. I don't know about that. Yeah, I, I don't. There's probably not like a whole lot of. It may just be references, but yeah, I, I always thought it, reference. I always thought it would be cool. Like, okay, you were the heroes of this one world, but way into the far flung future, it turned into this <laughs> dystopia. Yeah, I wish it turned into this like dystopian world to where they had to take more and more extreme measures to survive. And now that it's gotten to the point to where that plant, you know, they were literally consuming planets to keep their way of life alive. Hmm. Yeah, because I know that uh, that's a major plot. Well, I'm not going to say that because that, that kind of spoils the story for this game. I was about to say well, something. we've already learned about the... No, we haven't learned about that. About what? I'm not going to say it. Why not? Because it spoils it. Spoils what? There's a spoiler that I was about to, s to spell. We talked about the big talky heads, and they said that they were consuming planets. I was... I'm not going to go any further than that. It's a spoiler. I know. I'm trying to jerk you into it. I know. It. <laughs> and you're not going to jerk me into it. <laughs> but the big talky heads said... <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> All done. I wonder if everyone's okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're waiting for us by now. Right. 
We go back to airship now. You want to know another fun fact about this game? What? This is the point in the game where they started to rush things because the production was taking too long. Oh, I know that. Yeah. I know that. This game was in development at the same time as, like, 8 and I think 7, too. Yeah. So, uh, once they reached this part of development, they actually had to start cutting some stuff out of the game. Because originally, each of the temples had its own, like, layout and floor plan that they had planned to mm -hmm. integrate. So, you had to actually explore with each of the groups. And then you had to fight the boss as well. Yep. But I know, like, because that, that, I do remember hearing that, like, that was a big reason why it took them so long to come out with a remastered version of Final Fantasy VIII. Because... Because of the because of the way the development went and everything was so rushed, there was a lot of resources from eight that they lost. Yeah, and so they had to spend years trying to find and get all those resources back, and even remaking some from scratch. Yep. To be able to remaster that game. Mm-hmm. So, that's why it took them so long. Yep. Fresh air, finally. So Dane is unbelievable, asking us ladies to fight a monster like that. Oh my gosh. What's wrong, I gave? Oh, I completely forgot, uh, and we're all alone, too. Well, what is it? There's a question I've been meaning to ask you. I've been waiting for a chance to ask you for the longest time. Give me an honest answer, okay? Well, if you have to ask the question before I can answer. Do you love Zidane? Wh wh what? Why? You have to answer me. Do you love him or not? It's not really an easy question that you can just, you know, pop out in the middle of oh, nowhere. Oh, hey, Starship, Zidane's back. <laughs> yeah, not even she's sure how to answer that question. Mm -hmm. Did you just say something, Dagger? Let's go, Aka. Hey, wait! That's not fair! <laughs> <laughs> she likes, likes the dame. She just said yes in her own mm. little whisper. <laughs> yeah, well, she's just... She's never had to really confront her feelings fully. Because mm -hmm. she's been distracted with other stuff. Yeah. Well, now that we've got everyone, we can head to Shimmering Island. Uh, speaking of things being cut, I think in Wind Waker, the water dungeon got cut, I think. There's a lot of stuff that got cut from Wind Waker, actually. Yeah. Uh, in Wind Waker, there were, uh, I think three dungeons that, at least three dungeons that were cut from the game. Really? Yeah, because you remember that part of the game where you had to go, like, the, the icy island and the fiery island, and you mm -hmm. had to calm them down to go inside? Those were originally going to be dungeons. Huh. Yep. And... The third dungeon that was cut was uh, when you had to go and get the water pearl. Mm -hmm. Remember, you didn't have to go through a dungeon for the water pearl. Yeah. There was originally going to be a dungeon for it, but because of time constraints, it got cut out. Ah. So th instead, they did, like, the little fetch quest thing that they did. Yeah. So. Hey, Amaranth, I didn't know you were here. So we'll be going to Shimmering Island, then to Terra. Yeah, it's near Estogaza. It won't take long. Hmm. Tell me something. What motivates you to do this? Hmm. I do everything for Dagger to find out what Cooch is after her. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you want to eeny, meeny, miny, moe it? I'm fine with it. All right. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch a tiger by its toe. If he hollers, let him go. Bye. Mama told me to pick the very best one, and it is absolutely, positively, 100% without a doubt in my mind and all of this earth and planet. Absolutely, positively, this one right here. <laughs> I, I, I meant to land on this one. Yeah, you were fishing for it. <laughs> if you don't pick that one, then just pick that one. No, no, no. I wasn't trying to fish for it. I was like, 
It, like, I landed on it, and then it was just like, burp, burp, like, up one more by accident. Yo, cheers, my lord. Oh, thank y'all. Ow. <laughs> Don't question what just happened. Mmm, cheers. I don't know. <laughs> ah, sorry. Anyway. You don't even know why you do the things you do. I didn't say that. Maybe I do it because I don't know what motivates me. To understand something is interesting, but what's already understood is boring. Agreed. I'm sure we'll understand something when we get to Shimmering Island and go to Terra. And then it'll become boring and we'll leave. I'm beginning to understand why he won an island lost. He's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I lost against his way of thinking. Alright. He's got what they call... The right stuff. The big wrinkle brain. <laughs> I was gonna say, the right stuff. At the right, right price. Academy. <laughs> I didn't know he worked there. I haven't been to Academy in a long time. Me either. Yeah. There's, oh, actu well. there's actually one very close to where I live, too. Yeah. Just, it, it's always pricier than yeah. what I'm used to paying for stuff. So, where are we going? Estogaza. Where's Estogaza? The ice continent. But I will let you know, this is a potential point of no return. So if there's anything else you wish to do before we leave, you should do it now. Ah, that's the Shimmering Island. Okay, so... Yep. Alright, so is there anything that uh, you think we should do? Uh, about the only other thing we could do is more Chocobo Hot and Cold, but we can do that later, too. It is up to you, my lord. <laughs> if you want to do more... Like, if there's Chocobo Hot and Cold stuff that we would want to do now... Nah, I mean, we can do it later. It's not going to really change all that much. Okay. We did we did Chocobo Hot and Cold last stream. Let's make this a story stream. Alright, then to the Shimmering Island it is, then. Here we go. Off to a wonderful world. <laughs> Mr. Zidane, I'm showing abnormal readings. It feels like the ship's gonna get sucked in. Today, it might be dangerous to keep going. Are we gonna bust on the airship? Darn right we are. All we know is that this is the entrance. I heard the people of Estogaza call it the Spirit Road. The path that leads souls to Terra. Maybe it's a teleportation gate, like the one in Kuja's hideout. Mr. Zidane! We're going to get sucked in! What shall I do? What now, Zidane? We may not be able to turn back. Let's do it. Keep moving forward. We're going out on the deck. What do you mean? If Dagger is right, we can just jump into the teleporter. From this height? We'll be fine. Considering all that we've been through, this is nothing. That's fair. Whoosh! Oh, hey, look, there's boy. that tornado you were talking about. Great! <laughs> Sploosh! Here oh, we go! This cutscene was always so pretty. Whee! It's like swimming. Yep, is everybody ready to go to Tura? And we get Vivi, Zidane, and nobody else. <laughs> what happened to Amaret, Queen, and Freya? That's a good question. Where did they go? Yeah, they're probably here with us. They just didn't show them in the cutscene. Well, they should be. Hey, pretty lights. <laughs> yep. Here we are. Woo! Could this be Terra? It looks a lot more like coral reefy than I would think, you know? Yeah. What's this light? Could it be? Ah! Ugh. Oh, hey! Oh, hey, there he is. What voice did we give him? So, you finally came. Oh, that's right, the Richard Nixon. Aru. 
The time has come at last. Why did you skip Who my the dialogue? heck are you? Fuck you. <laughs> I pressed the A button by accident. No. <laughs> ask my name, will you? Then let us ask. What is your name? What is me, your name? Me? My name is... Hey, what's your problem? I'm trying to tell you my name. I don't care anymore. So you believe a given name has meaning? Boy, you have been bewitched by the light of the blue moon. What do you know? You must be from Terra. My boy, <laughs> you know nothing. And that is all. Come and see for yourself. See what Terra is and what you are. Hey, hang on a minute. He's gone. I've always loved this music track. Oh, yeah, it's great. Oh, yeah. Dude! Hey! Dagger! Dagger, are you alright? Yes, everyone's fine. Come, let's hurry. And now we got the party back together. Party's good. Party's good. Alright, well, time to go check out Terra. Yep. Is this the future? Because everything looks platinum. What? Or hey. Hey! Hey! Aw, but the side path. Come back! Oh, there's a side path? Yeah. See? Oh, hey. Loot. <laughs> Zidane, I am your father. <laughs> Aru. <laughs> That's not true! That's impossible! Alright, fine, it's a lie, but think of it was true. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be my father because you... Nope, that's a spoiler too. <laughs> <laughs> and, I almost said it. Yeah, you're you're slipping. <laughs> it's a slippery slope. <laughs> it's hard not to spoil things. <laughs> uh, Dragon wrist. Uh, Cheats is jelly or lancer. Yep. Which that would be oh, Freya, Freya here, which he so. have relegated to the corner of not being used. <laughs> Get on the bench. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, like, I hear a lot of people that play through this game end up benching Freya. And Amaranth. Yeah. Which, you know, kind of I mean, sucks because they're, they're cool and useful, but... Yeah, like, she's she's cool and she's got a lot of benefits to her. It's just... But the, all the other characters just have something that helps just kind of edge them out with a unique thing that they yeah. can do. Yeah. Yeah. Buh. Buh. Hey, wait up! Buh. Oh, hey, random encounter. We're fighting a thing. Hey, these things. Uh, what are these things? They just look like little puppets. Yeah, they're little these things. They're oh, ringleaders. Ringleaders. Because they have rings. <laughs> oh yeah, this Get is the name. They start doing this nonsense. Well, what? What did he do? He cast reflect on himself. Oh well, it's a good thing I'm not casting spells on him. Uh. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Well, I'm just gonna have Ico attack Steiner. That. Well, okay, never mind. I didn't do anything. Yeah, they cast blind on him. Uh. What you said. Well, I'm going to cast Fireaga on the other one because you don't have a reflect on him. Mm. This guy's kind of remind me of Zorn and Thorn in a weird way. Yeah, a little bit. I think it's the hats. You have fancy hats. I like that. <laughs> Would you like a job? giving us a job just because we have nice hats. Darn right. Sure, why not? <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> you just, you walk into a job interview and they're just like, you've got the job. Like, wait, really? We, we didn't even interview yet. Like, what, what, why are you giving me the job so quickly? Because I like your hat. Yep. 
<laughs> Works for me. Yep. Oh, hey, virus. Been a while since we've seen that. You remember how to deal with that, though. Yeah, I have vaccines, but this thing's about to die, so... Yeah, but if he dies, that character's not going to get experience or ability points. I know, but I already set the things in motion, so there's not really much to do at that point. I mean, I could try to vaccine it, but... Oh, right, yeah. Imagine... You, could, uh, uh, you queued up everyone, yeah. yeah. chances are the queues are gonna... Go. Oh, well, no, oh. There, no, there's no virus. Oh, you must have anybody on him. What? He stole HP. What? He used all his moves. I don't like that. It's a spell that BB has. I don't like that. I don't. Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. I don't know why I said it like that. Hey, Bob. <laughs> hey, Bob. It's like you're like an N64 character's like dialogue where they just use the sound effects. I sounded like I was powering down. Yeah. It's like Parappa the Rapper. <laughs> Actually, no, that would be uh, King of the Cosmos. He had the, the, the scratching keyboard. Waka, waka, wow, wow. <laughs> Like I, I just I just sounded like something that was like powering down. It was like mm. Actually it kinda reminds me of uh was it Yoshi's Island? Yoshi's story? It had a thing like You could also go banjo kazooie with that. Yeah, you could. Also, Yoshi's story is one of the games that's coming out for Switch Online. Oh, neat. Yeah, one of the N64 games. Is that the one where it sounds like the Yoshis are chanting, Your ass hurt! Don't ruin it. I know that that's what But it sound sounds like. like it! And no, it doesn't sound like you asshole. It sounds like they're saying the asshole. Oh. <laughs> the asshole! Great, now we're ruining it for other people. <laughs> we can't ruin something that already exists. Ew. Look at the little jelly blobs. Oh. Hello, jelly blobs. I wonder if they're cherry flavored. Well, we're going to cook them and have ourselves some roasted cherries. Huh. Mover. Okay. Who wants roasted cherries? Mmm. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Well, that actually was quite effective. Wah. Uh oh. They're erect. <laughs> We're wrecked, and now we're coming for you. Oh no, they're attacking us with triangles. Oh my god! What? That just did death. It it cast and float and killed him. Well, no, he has auto float on from the Earth Shrine. Oh, I forgot that he had. Uh, so yeah, they have a uh, instant death thing. Oh no. And it seems like it's a counterattack to physical. Well, that's not good. Yeah, um, don't auto attack these guys, I guess, with physical stuff. Holy shit. Yeah, that's bad. And there's no way to protect yourself from instant death thing. But yeah, whenever you hit them with VV, it didn't do anything, so. All right, well then. Yeah, I guess roasted it's Roasted cherries. I guess it's a physical uh, counter. Well, that kind of sucks, because Zidane can't do Jack Diddley squat, besides maybe steel. Or mug. Thievery. Thievery might work, actually. Uh, I don't... No, you killed two of them. Oh, hey. So, yeah, he's probably pretty low on HP, then. Make sure that Steiner gets experience. Yeah. Oh, we've been virused. Well, I'm gonna vaccine it up. Yep. So there. Reduce her down to 8 HP, too. Was that just damage, or was that, like, it just said something to critical HP? Um, I guess it just resets to critical, like you were saying. Yeah. All right, maybe you should be able to kill him. Yelp. This just was a single target one. Kaboom. Roasted cherry! Nice. And everybody gets experience because there's no viruses or dead people. Exactly. <laughs> Congratulations, there's no dead people. Hey, here's your prize. <laughs> I don't know why, but doing that voice is making me want to play a game called Citizens of Earth. Have you heard of that one? Uh, no. Think of uh, a, a modern Earthbound with a little bit more over-the-top humor. Oh, okay. I kind of see it. Yeah. 
I've always wanted to stream that game, but I have to get a copy of it first. <laughs> Didn't we say, like, the other day, uh, when we were watching the direct, we are just like, Buh. we were like, we're streaming it! Streaming what? That's the question. I don't remember what it was. The Kirby game? Oh, that's right. It was the Kirby game. Like, the Kirby game came up, and, we're, and you and I were just both like, we're streaming it! <laughs> yeah, it looks adorable. Also, I get to eat as much as I want. <laughs> Although, I was still curious of who's going to be the big bad guy in that one, because we didn't even see, like, DDD or anything. I hope DDD's in it. He better be, or I'm going to be mad. I really... Like, it's not a Kirby game if there's no DDD. Seriously. It's like having a Mario game without Bowser. Right. Why didn't you run to go to chase? Because there's a... Oh, okay. I thought I was looking I was looking to see if there was treasure down here. Well there is treasure down here, but there's treasure in the other down there too. Okay, well I didn't know I didn't know which was the story way to go. I was just exploring. Yep. Yeah, you're supposed to chase the little girl. Yeah, stream it. Yeah, we're planning on it whenever it comes out. <laughs> but we gotta wait for it to come out first. Yeah, which I think uh spring is when it's com coming out. Yep. Which, by the way, I was reading an article today. Uh-huh. Was it a good article? Yes, it was a very good article, but it was also a concerning one. Oh, why? Uh, you remember that big winter storm that we had at the beginning of the year? No. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Apparently, that's going to happen again. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, there, there's like a lot of, uh, like a very, like there's this um, source that's like been 80% accurate. They actually accurately predicted that we were going to go to like that winter storm. Uh-huh. Uh, and they've been 80% accurate on a lot of their predictions. They're saying like at the beginning of next year, Texas is going to have the same thing happen. Cool. Based on everything that they're seeing, like all the research they're seeing. Literally. So, so yeah, start stocking up, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I've got an, I've got a little space heater. I'll be fine. Yeah. Who are you? You don't Should remember we... anything, do you? I don't know why I kind of want to give her a sassy valley girl voice. Oh, you want to give her the sassy... <laughs> Follow me and you'll understand us. <laughs> and maybe your heritage as well. God. <laughs> Get over here. If that's, if that's annoying, we will change it. But let me know, Jeff. Hey, wait. Hold on a second. <laughs> Follow me and I'll set you free. Uh, welcome to the valley. Batch. <laughs> <laughs> Once you go on, you'll stay. <laughs> now walk across this bread. No wonder Terra fell to shit. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in Terra talks like that, except for Garland. <laughs> he's the only one who doesn't. Thinks he's better than us. Jerk. <laughs> <You> bitch. <laughs> What the heck is this place? It looks really artificial. So different than before. Yeah, but it doesn't seem very lively. <laughs> Have her talk like adults on Peanuts cartoons. Brand ball. <laughs> Brand ball. That sounds like a sport. It really does. Brand ball. It's because it ends with ball. Hold on a second. What the heck are you talking about? <laughs> I'm glad I didn't grow up in California what to go with Valley Girls. <laughs> the, uh -oh. Excuse me. Don't you make fun of my accent? Back. Like, uh, legit, I was at the grocery store today, and I was putting groceries in my car. Ooh, fancy shit. Ooh. Uh, and, like, I, somebody was on the phone passing. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was immediate. <laughs> Jeez, Oh, Boomer. dear God. Hello. Oh, God! Oh. My, not my phone. <laughs> no, that's my drink. <laughs> Oh God! Uh, oh, yeah, God. she's she's had dinner and gotten oh. her second win. Yep. Oh, my yep. arm! <laughs> Hi, Boomer. <Bye>, <laughs> <Bye, Bye, Bye. laughs> <laughs> 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 that was so unexpected. <laughs> 
just immediately door opened and then it's just dog. <laughs> oh god. She turned off the tablet. Hang on, chat. Uh, hang on. Hang on a minute. You okay? Okay. Yeah, like I'm fine. I'm not bleeding or anything, but god, her paw got me so uh, good. Yeah. Oh god. She got big paws. <laughs> like she Oh man, that, that that might that might swell a little bit. Yeah. You want to see something awesome? Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, boomer. You sure you want you want to trade seats next time? So I'm in the line of fire, and not you. <laughs> we might have to. Good <laughs> God. Anyway, Dagger, wake up. <laughs> what the hell was I talking about? You're talking about being at the grocery store. Oh yeah, so there was a girl that like talked like that on the way by, just like what? Shut up, uh. <laughs> or not the shut up, uh, but I was like shut up, you know. <laughs> get out of town no really get a bus and go out of town and i was just like for some reason like I, i'd always done that voice in like jest but actually hearing it like out in the wild like somebody actually talking like that it was just kind of like oh my god it is true <laughs> people actually talk like that a boomer use tackle it's a critical hit <laughs> pretty much <sighs> dagger Damn it! What the heck is going on? Oh, right. She saw the, the bottom of the ship. Yeah, she did. Yeah. I'm fine. I'm not bleeding or anything. It's just she... And gave you a little surface scratch. Yep. I think that's uh, Garland. Oh. You are completely oblivious. <laughs> just like a newborn child. You don't know why you were given life. Or for what purpose you exist. You simply shout to emphasize your life. Your own existence. Haru. You are completely oblivious. we got to find a place for her to rest. Today, leave the princess to me. You must go reconnoiter at once. What word did he just... I don't know. Yeah, you're right. There's got to be some place around here. Watch over her, Steiner. I'll be back. Oh, he's going to find a place that they everybody can reconvene, I'm assuming. Oh, okay. Like, the use as a resting spot or something, I guess. Oh, hey, we can find a use for Freya. There you go. Somewhat. Wow. <laughs> How rude. Or do we want Queena? Yeah, it's up to you. Who do you want to get experience, my lord? Quina. <laughs> Poof. <sighs> Wards me right off. I remember when I was last warded off. Ooh. Yeah, it's starting to swell a bit. <laughs> God, boomer. <laughs> Yeah, after uh, dinner, she uh, she gets a second wind, and we usually have to play with her or take her for a walk or something. <sighs> God, what's going on? Everyone has a tail, and their hair is like mine. Wow. Hey, what are you guys up to? You look like a kid to me. Which is this no age? We were built this way. Gah. Actually, I th like the girl should get that voice, but the guy should get like the Chad surfer voice. Oh, uh, wh which ones are the girls? Uh, I think. I would imagine the red ones. Yeah, the I think the ones in the red are the girls, and the ones in the purple are the boys. All right. Hey, what the heck are you guys doing? We developed into vessels. Say what? Okay, whatever. But hey, you have both men and women, right? Asexual beings would lack the genetic diversity to adapt to new environments. Ugh. What did you just say? To bang is to evolve, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> it's not wrong, actually. Asexual beings actually tend to evolve less. Yep. Floating knowledge is useless to vessels, bro. But information is given to, like, prevent mental atrophy. 
that's hilarious coming from that voice. <laughs> <laughs> A planet's color indicates its shape. Gaia's blue and Terra's red. Red, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's totally right. <laughs> the flow of cells means that a planet has life. The stoppage of cells means that a planet is dead. You're dead to me. Gallop that. Oh, hey, they have the gooling stone shape thing. See, in the right. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, it's a bunch of gooling stones. Souls flow. As, As the planets, planets turn. turn. Gnarly. <laughs> A planet simmer and it's bright. Uh, that's a guy. Oh, that's a guy. Yeah, it's purple. Oh well, it's hard to tell. <laughs> a planet shimmer is like it's breath, a sign of life, dude. Actively caused by the cycling of souls. Oh, gnarly. <laughs> I do like talking to all these guys because they actually say a lot of interesting things. <laughs> I, I think there was like a basement level in that other one, too, in the other room that you were in earlier. Well, okay. See you later. <laughs> I was trying to talk. Hey, is there a place around here to get some rest? Why do you need rest? Why? Don't you guys go to sleep at night? Not that I'm sleeping right now, but... Nah, dude. By night, do you mean the condition in which the light recedes? Look, I don't have time for an interview. Where can I find an inn? There's the entrance right there, dude. Right there, huh? Gotcha. The condition in which light recedes? <laughs> These are the days of our lives. <laughs> this looks like a good place for Dagger to get some rest. That bed looks hard as hell. It does. It does not look like a comfortable bed. But what's up with everyone here? They're all so stiff. As we get the, <laughs> the yep. contrast of the voices is amazing. <laughs> I don't know why, but I have a bad feeling about this place. Well, first things first, I gotta bring Dagger back here. Alright, there's a treasure chest in the back, dude. Yeah, I saw it. Gotta get that loot. Excuse me. Do you have any medicine? Hello? Is there a place I can buy some medicine around here? Uh, hello? I'm asking if you have any medicine. Ah, how come this place is full of weirdos? Everyone has a tail like Zidane, too. Ah, uh, if I could just only find some Pimo Pimo herbs. Pimo Pimo herbs? Yeah. Uh,. I could make some wake-up powder for her. But is this my lucky day? No. no. <laughs> huh? Found ya. You're that girl, right? It's your fault Dagger's collapsed, you know. Oh, never mind. Say, do you have any medicine at all? She will soon awaken. How do you know? I just know, right? <laughs> Where's your man? <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my man? My man? <laughs> my man? <laughs> just, I, <laughs> yeah. I, just, I love that it sounded like Eggman right there. Yep. It sounded like... <laughs> <laughs> about Zidane. Even I never call him that. But 
That's too bad for you. He and Dagger are super hot for each other. Super hot. You don't have a chance with him. Tell him I am landing in the underground lab. <laughs> My secret laboratory. Hey, where do you think you're going? What a bimbo. <laughs> 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 I, I forgot Aiko actually called her that. <laughs> a bimbo. Wow. <laughs> a bimbo. That's great. Uh-oh, I don't have time for oh this. Oh my god, if they do remaster this game and they, like, change some of this, I'm gonna be pissed, because this is gold. They better not change. They better bimbo. not. They better not take it out. I'll be mad if they do that. Dagger, princess, why must you suffer more? Damn it! What is the matter, Zidane? You haven't been yourself at all. The heck do you mean? I haven't been myself. I've no. always been angry and kicking pots. I'm sorry. I don't even know what's wrong with me. I just... I just can't concentrate with this blue light. Then do I got a thing for you. I can get some some blue filter glasses for you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> what you're suffering from is eye strain. <laughs> God, it's so true. <laughs> uh, uh. Princess, you have awoken. What made you lose consciousness so, so suddenly? I remembered. Remembered what? It wasn't a storm that destroyed Maiden Sari. It was... It was the eye on that airship that destroyed Maiden Sari. You remember, don't you? The eye was also there when Alexandria was leveled. Yes, there was a large eye in the sky above from which light emanated. 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 Yeah, it was the eye in the sky. It was a news helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> That's how they report their news, right? Yep. <laughs> um, now that you mention it, <laughs> what? This is Garland with Eyewitness News. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here at Alexandria reporting on everyone's fuck. <laughs> and Alexandria is mine. Suck it, Kuja. I'm dunking on you. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh God. That makes that better with that voice. Yep. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Now that you mention it, it was there when uh, Bahamut went wild at the Eva tree. Oh yeah. Yes. It was there in the sky. It must be the same airship. What? Then that must be the ship that slew her majesty. Rusty. Uh, I'm sorry, princess. Don't worry about it. I've already come to terms with that. That ship took everything from me. It took away my parents, my homeland, Alexandria, everything. How terrible. It really has been kind of the harbinger of all the terrible things in her life. Yeah, it has. Walks away slowly into a bush. <laughs> <laughs> Dagger, are you all right? <clears throat> yes, I'm fine. <clears throat> Excuse me. No, you're not. You're still pale. You gotta rest. Hmm. How come everyone looks so pale, too? What's going on here? Blue light. <laughs> no need to be concerned. A strange place such as this is cause enough for exhaustion. Oh. Hey, where are you going, Zidane? Oh, that's right. That weird girl, that girl that led us here said something strange again. She said she was waiting for you in some underground laboratory. What a pervert. 
<laughs> Zidane! Yeah, this is very unlike Zidane to just run off without saying anything. Yeah. Well, I mean, he did do that once with Baku a long time ago, but... I think it, like, whenever it comes to just trying to understand where he comes from, he's just, like, he doesn't want to talk about it. Yeah. Oh, well, I just did a circle. All yep. Right. <laughs> that is okay. There is plenty in Bramble to explore. Can I go in here yet? Nope. Darn. <laughs> you cannot teleport. <laughs> but I want to teleport. I don't even know if that's a teleporter. It's just... It looks like a teleporter with how big and green it is, you know? Alright, we're supposed to go to some underground laboratory. Yeah. So where's that? You've already ran by it like three times. Good. Yep. Hey, look. Chess. Money. Or wing edge. Either way. Yay! Oh, hey, Moogle. What the heck is this? <laughs> Leave me alone. Whoop! Akuma! Moorock! Thank you, Kipper! I was trapped inside, Kipper. Cool. In return for seven with Kipper, I opened a shop for the loser, Kipper. <clears throat> What's Magnet? I never even heard of it, Kipper. Ha! <laughs> Want to try Magnet? I'm the deliver mail. Oh, well, he never heard of Magnet. But now he wants to try it, now that you told him about it. Ah, uh, okay. But it makes sense, because he's on another planet that he's never heard of Magnet. Yeah, that's true. Save game! You want to know something else that happens? Uh, uh, he becomes an even bigger Moogle. <laughs> that would be awesome. But not quite. He becomes a smaller Moogle? <laughs> that would be, that would be awesome too, but not Ooh, quite. Defender. Ooh, yeah. Weapons, weapons. Everybody likes small weapons. Yeah, you got some new stuff that you can grab if you wanted to. Ooh. Oh wow, that's actually an upgrade for him. Ooh, yeah. The Orihalka. <laughs> Why is the Defender so much cheaper than the Ori Halcon? The Heavenly Lance is very expensive. It really is. Ooh, Bistro Fork. I do believe that we're getting the Bistro Fork. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but for some reason it's very fun. And next you're going to say you pay this much. You pay this much. It's too easy, chat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll sell it to you. Why did you buy three of those? I was trying to buy two. I was distracted by telling you to pay this much. Well, now you paid too much. <laughs> okay, I'll sell it to you. <laughs> All right, Holy Lance. Because I like spending, apparently. Yep. Ooh, defense gloves. Yep, but to get two of them would be all my gill. Eh, just get one for now. We can also go well then. fight stuff in the area. Oh, I have one in stock. Okay, perfect. Yep. Flash! Uh, hat. Flash! <laughs> oh, we don't have an Adam in hat. Yeah, they got some good stuff, apparently. Oh, wait, hang on. I can sell stuff. Indeed, my lord. Because we are not going to need that many food spoons. Yeah, if you want to go down to, like, one, you could. <laughs> Boom. Money. I keep forgetting that it's the buys options right there. Yep. You get all mashy. Oh, goodness. Yep. Look at all this gear. So I think you still need an adamant hat. Uh, we don't have a platinum helm. All right, let's go ahead and buy ourselves more gear. Uh, what about platina armor and Minerva's plate? Do we have those? Do we have what? Pl the platina armor and Minerva's plate. Nope. Uh, no. Okay, so we still need like 20,000 to buy those. I can sell more stuff. Uh, hopefully. I don't know what else we 
to get rid of, really. Well, let's figure something out. Well, we don't need some of these air weapons now, do we, son? Well, I'd like to keep one of everything for, I don't know, reasons, I guess. Do we really need the ogre anymore? I, or the exploder? I guess not. Or the not. rune tooth? I don't think we need those no more, boy. Then again, you've been kind of a dingus about what abilities you've been learning from what weapons. <laughs> We've been using all these weapons all time. Oh, no, 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 game. Well, for Zidane, yeah. But for Steiner, no. <laughs> We're going to do just fine, boy. All right, so that's not going to be enough for both. Nope. You can get one, though. Yeah. And which one are you going to get? The platina armor. Oh, the Minerva plate. Armor. All right. So now I'm going to sell stuff and give me the better plate. <laughs> what? Nothing. You're just silly. I am. Don't forget that. Oh, it hurts. What? We already learned everything from it. I know, but my looter heart is just like, ah, we learned. It. We learned everything there is to learn from that piece of gear. I know, but synthesis. <laughs> what are we gonna synthesize with Angel Bless? It's it's already a double blade. I know. You can't turn a double blade into another double blade. Says you. We can make a quad blade. Not in this game, you can't. Can you imagine, though? That would be amazing, though. I will admit. That would be simple. I don't really see much else I was going to sell. Could sell some of those gems that we have multiples of. Actually, yeah, we have a ton of opals. Well, not going to get us much. Oh, yeah, that's not really worth it, then. Mm. Uh, How much are dead peppers worth? Uh, 50 uh, each, so not much. Uh, oh yeah, the dark matter. I'd say just go fight stuff outside the city and get some... <laughs> Quad blade. You don't need potions. Look at that shit. Look at all these parrots. Yeah, but they're only one gill. It's not even worth the time selling them. Yeah, like, all the weapons and stuff I would like to keep. Yep. Like, the only exception is being, like, Zidane's, like, synthesized weapons. Yeah. Well, we don't need an iron sword and a broadsword anymore. No. Oh. So, well, I mean, it won't get us much, but... Yeah. yeah. Uh, you have two javelins. We really need ice brand. Uh, there. actually, I think ice brand and blood sword still had stuff to teach us. Really? Yeah. Okay. I know Steiner's abilities. You haven't taught him all of them, so that's why I'm hesitant to sell those. Uh, I'm going to sell one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dang it! Didn't mean to do that. I was trying to see how much money. Uh, we're still two thousand short. All right, so we we just need two thousand more money. Um, get the old lighter. And the mid masher. Uh, bronze gloves. I'll get rid of one of those. Why do we have four thunder gloves? That is a good question. So there we go. That that probably made it up. Probably sell the wing edges if yeah, you want to. Yeah, we do have a to. lot. I, like, so if you're not planning on using Amaranth, then there's no point in holding on to them. Yeah, but still, they make for good cheating. Yep. So I do want to... Depends on how much cheese you want to go with. Uh, we could sell a couple. Actually, yeah, we could just sell one. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, there we go. We'll, we'll tell everyone that we threw it at something. Yeah. That, that wing edge, we threw it at a thing. <laughs> we, we promise we did. <laughs> we didn't throw it. You didn't make it. That's self, Kerbar. Kerbar. 
boink. Oh, I'm the Cooper. Listen to my Cooper in verse. Nah. Why won't you? I'm good. How <laughs> dare you? Oh, dare yeah. You defy the Cooper. That is a nice attack upgrade. How dare you defy the Cooper? I will make you a Cooper. I never subscribed to the way of Koopa. You will subscribe to the way of Koopa. I, I don't want that subscription. Yes, you do. T take my name off the mailing list. You want Koopa. You know you won't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing. I, uh, I, I don't know the, why I'm the doing. The questions philosophers have been asking since the dawn of time. I don't know why I'm doing it. <laughs> the ancient Athenians who invented philosophy <laughs> pondered the question. Why do I do? <laughs> also, every time you wake up in the morning. <laughs> why do I do? <laughs> I don't even know why I'm making these stupid noises. For some reason, I'm just enjoying it. Power vest. It's the end of the week. We're tired and we're getting loopy. Yeah. That's why Saturdays are get together day because we can be stupid yep. together. Do me a favor. Go back in there. From here? Yeah. Oh. Hi. Hi. Why are you here? You want to buy a set of diamond, ether, and elixir for two, 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 two gil? Yeah. Two, 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 two. <laughs> two, 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 two. Thanks, buddy. I can continue my journey with this money. Oh, baby, I love you. You might be asking how I got here. <laughs> my answer to that is, shut up. You don't need to know anything about me. <laughs> I stowed away on your ship. <laughs> I was the entire time. Oh, thank you, one crazy gamer, for the raid. Ooh. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody yeah, that, from the raid. That hey. trip to Stiltskin is so easy to miss. Well, yeah, because you leave, and then he's there, and you miss it because he, you don't see him. Yeah, well, no, the first time you go in there, he's not there. You have to go into that, that room twice. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. You, like, that's why it's easy to miss. Yep, and if you miss that, you, you don't get a ribbon later on in the game. What? Wait, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are reprogramming them. Please step away from the laboratory. All right, let's have our conversation. Oh, so that's what's going on. Jeez, I should have guessed. So, this is what you wanted to show me. Yes. I'm glad you understand. I don't want to understand. Sorry, but I am not like that. I mean, all these guys with tails who look just like me, they're a bunch of zombies. They are my pairs. We are genomes. We live in this village. <laughs> genomes? Is that what they're called? Yeah, it is kind of a weird name. Yeah. Not just them, but me and you too. <laughs> it is the name of the seed given to us all. It's the name is Jam. <laughs> Talk about a letdown. Who would have guessed that the home I've been yearned for would be a dump like this? Ouch. No wonder I never found it. It's not even on Gaia. Why are you not happy? You have returned to the place of your birth. Happy? You guys can process that emotion? Look at them. Look at all their blank faces. What can we do? After all, we're made that way. And we're built to watch over each other and work together as soulless genomes. What is it all for? Get to the point already. I don't know. How come I grew up on Gaia if I was born here? I'm alive. I have a soul. Why is everyone here so... Soulless. Because you are... Special. What? We are mere vessels. You've been given a greater purpose. The will of Garland is absolute. Garland? Who the heck is that? Oh, we know who that is. Oh yeah, we know. 
Because Kuja keeps yelling at him. Garland watches over this planet. His mission is to restore the people of Terra. Restore the people of Terra? You mean people beside the guys here? They're merely vessels. So am I, and so are you. But the true people of Terra have been asleep for ages, waiting for their time to come. When the time is right, the light of this planet will change from blue to red, and Gaia will become Terra. Wait a sec, so the people of Terra are out to take over Gaia? What else can there be? Terra's always absorbed new planets to survive. <laughs> And when the time comes, the souls of the people of Terra will occupy the genomes. Such is the restoration of the people of Terra. Why do they have to be so... so tedious? Why don't they just wipe us out with magic like they did in Alexandria? Once, Garland tried to use a more forceful method, but failed. Then he should just quit and leave Gaia alone. Because of his failure, he was forced to wait a long time. To wait until Gaia's civilizations gained tremendous power. The power to use Eidolans. So, that's why you attacked the Summoner's Village and destroyed Alexandria. Uh -huh. Planets have a cycle of souls. Souls are born from the planet and then return to it. Garland planned to gain control of that very cycle. And you were supposed to help him achieve that, you dummy. <laughs> what? Garland is waiting for you. Come. Wh what do you think you're doing? I don't care about all this Terra and Gaia stuff. I just want to know who my mama and papa are. Where's mom and dad? Am I a real boy? <laughs> so Dane isn't back yet. And with Dagger not feeling well, I wonder where he is. I okay. care. No, Dagger, you can't get up yet. I'm all right. Listen, I want to ask you a favor. Oh, well, just tell me and I'll get right to it. I want you to go find Zidane. Huh? Oh, sure. Okay, I was already going to do that. All right, well, I get it. You're getting jealous. No, I'm not. I just have a feeling something terrible is going to happen. All right, all right, I'll go get him. So you just stay here and rest. I need you to go check up on my boyfriend. <laughs> my boyfriend. My man. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid, but I love it. <laughs> all, right. all right, what do we got with <laughs> place the place to call, to call home? home? Uh oh. Oh no, it's Quinna. Ah, yeah. What big stone? <laughs> Why you all watch stone? Is it food? It's terrible channel. Is stone edible? Is for barbecue? No answer. I think I lick it. You know answer, so you know mine, right? I love Queen's logic. <laughs> mm. Very salty. Oh? Who that? What you doing here today? Huh? Oh, uh, hi, Quinna. You stand here say nothing. Then you just like other dummy dummies. No can tell difference. They say someone always has double somewhere. There's so many of you here. The world's a strange place, no? Yeah, I guess. So then, what matter? You no seem yourself. Hmm. Oh, well, it's nothing. I'm always myself. Besides, it's not just me. You look just like your master, too. Of course. Master Quail is Ku Klan. We same. Yeah, I guess everybody looks the same to someone from another race. Hmm. Maybe you're right. What he say? Same race? <laughs> That's race! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, now we can grab that. Really? All that was an elixir? Boo. Oh, wow. Well. I wanted fancy things. Oh, where the heart is. Don't pick it up. 
It's still beating. Oh, yeah. I forgot Vivi's been absent this whole time. Oh, yeah. That's right. Where has he been? Excuse me. So, um, what do you guys do here? No. Huh. Oh, yeah. This blue light sure is pretty, isn't it? You like it too, right? You're all looking at the blue light. The light is unpleasant to us. Oh, really? Huh, is that girl... Hmm. Oh, hey, Zidane. What are you up to? What do you mean? What are you doing, BB? I'm, I'm trying to talk with the natives. This boy here seems to be my age and everything. You're wasting your time. They won't give you a decent answer. Oh, but I think I can get through to them. Huh? I'm surprised you feel that way. I don't know why, but I I feel like we're similar. Ooh. Similar? What do you mean? I know they're similar to me, but... No, no, not like that. They're a lot like the black mages we saw on the cargo ship and in Clara. Ah. Of course, we don't look alike at all, but I can see one thing. Their minds aren't hollow. I think that their minds are just out for, to lunch for a little while. Hmm. Huh. Not hollow, huh? Out to lunch. Mm. I could use some lunch. Lunch. You want to hit the, the nearest burger joint, BB? Mm. I don't know if they have burgers here. Oh, well, hey, where are you going, Zidane? Zidane? I want a burger. I had a burger coming here. Ah, lucky. <laughs> Actually, they got my order wrong slightly. It wasn't that bad though. Like I just asked, I just asked them for um, no lettuce, and mm. they put lettuce on it. Nah, <laughs> it's fine. I was like, eh, I just picked it off myself. Yup. That's why. It's kind of ominous now with that voice. <laughs> That's why. Hey, the dude. Oh, that's uh, that's. Oh yeah, Amaranth. it's Amaranth. What do you want? What? There's no way to say hello. What the hell is this place? I thought we'd find some mean mothers down here, but they're all a bunch of wimps. No challenge, huh? I wanted to fight a mean mom. Yeah. Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> hey, Amaranth, can I ask you something? No. Do you... Have any parents or family? What a stupid question. Sorry, I'm just curious. I don't remember any loving parents. My first memory is of the face of a guy I had to fight. I only found meaning in life through combat. Funny how you put that in past tense. All due, all due to my wonderful influence. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Thank you. Please, you're gonna make me sick. How about you? What, you mean my parents? I don't have parents. What? That... That doesn't make any sense. You're... You, you, you have to have a mom and a dad. Everybody knows that you've got to do the horizontal monster mash. <laughs> Otherwise, there's no baby. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't just you don't just appear out of thin air it's spontaneous existence it doesn't work that way hey uh where are you taking me that word has always looked fake to me what 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 word where oh where yeah it just looks fake yeah where can... where are I... you taking me yeah where -er are you taking yeah mm. I, get, I get it i totally get it i told you you're going to see garland yeah, of course, but this way is a dead end. There is a way. <laughs> See? You may find him through that portal. It looks like a tree, but it's actually a portal. Just trust me. <laughs> he awaits where the souls sleep, the floating castle, where souls bide their time until their restoration. Pandemonium. I love pandas. <laughs> <laughs> pandas are adorable. Will you not say farewell to your friends? 
I don't care what I am. I was born here, wasn't I? If so, then I am an enemy of the people of Gaia. Uh-oh. You learned quickly. <laughs> Make no mistake, I won't join your side. I just... If we are actually relatives, then... Then I want to take care of this little family matter myself. Ooh! Oh, boy. Enigmatic. Bye, baby. <laughs> Just not talking to him. Bye, Amaranth. <laughs> See ya. We, we got places to go. <laughs> we know where he went. And the Danes to find. We gotta find our boy. Now you listen to me. Where did you take the Danes? He went on his own to say Garland. Garland? Oh, that's a sinister name. <laughs> but the Dane wouldn't just leave us hanging. He went. Yes. He went to find out the reason for his existence. Liar. That's a terrible lie. <laughs> the classic, I'll go it alone from here. Yep. Mm -hmm. I am an enemy of the people of Gaia. He said as he walked through the gate to Pandemonium. Do you like pandas? I like pandas. <laughs> we gotta tell the others. Oh, by the way, don't tell anybody. Ah, oh, crap, she's gone. <laughs> Heaven grant the wandering souls eternal repose. Dang. That was deep. <laughs> I want harp teleporters. That's awesome. The best thing is that she didn't even give context for why he said that. Yep. So, this must be Garland's haunted mansion. Talk about bad taste in interior decorating. But look at it, it's all evil. Yeah, and that's what makes him a villain, is having a spooky <laughs> villainous castle. Yep. Alright, time to teach this tyrant a thing or two. Ooh, there's no music either. Spooky. Yep, it's because they're making it serious. So, we made again. Hmm. Poof, what do you need? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Twelve years ago, I lost one of my most prized genomes. I created him and sent him to Gaia to disrupt the cycle of souls there. You are that genome. I am glad you have returned. Shut up. Nobody tells me what to do. And I didn't come here to answer to you. Let me guess. You must be Garland. And what if I am? Then you're going down. But first, you're going to tell me everything. Like, why did I grow up on Gaia and why do you want to destroy it? I was trying to recreate a fan fiction of Superman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big fan, Superman. You were going to grow up with the power of the sun. <laughs> and you were going to be absolutely incredible. You would have been broken as fuck in, in the battle system. But then you hit your head and forgot everything. <laughs> Just like that asshole Goku. <laughs> Damn anime ruining my intentions. <laughs> Speaking of, I have no intention of destroying Gaia. I only wish to make Gaia into Terra. What did you just say? I'm gonna take your planet and smush it into mine. <laughs> <laughs> of course, not everything went as planned. You growing up on Gaia, for example. There is another one built as you were. He may be the one who threw a wrench into my gears. <laughs> who the heck are you talking about? Someone you know quite well. Follow me. The time when the aura of Gaia will turn into the crimson glow of Terra has not yet come. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need? I may need your help anyway. Poof. What do you need? <laughs> I love that he just pops in and out. Yep. 
Welcome to Pandemonium! Oh, baby. Mind the mushrooms. He wants to put Tara... <laughs> Dilly and Gaia's cha-cha. <laughs> Stop! There will be no planet canoodling on our watch. Now tell me everything. I constructed the genomes to be vessels for the souls of the people of Terra when they awaken. But 24 years ago, I gave life to a genome that was very much like you. His will was too strong to make him a proper vessel, and I even considered discarding him. But then I thought that I should put his strength to use. I sent that genome as my servant to disrupt the cycle of souls on Gaia. Yeah, so tell me who he is already. I have one guess who it is. I think we all know who it is. Baku. T yeah, Baku. Is <laughs> Do you not know yet? You and he are so much alike. Alike? I've never met anyone like me. You judge only by appearances. I mean someone with a soul similar to yours. The one I sent to Gaia might also be called your brother. And his name is Kuja. Kuja? He's a genome? Impossible! He doesn't even have a tail! He's only hiding it. He denies his own identity. The fact that he can hide his tail in that, like, scanty clothes is... That's actually quite impressive, yeah. It's impressive that he manages to do that. He rejects the meaning of his existence and tries to assert his own individuality. Poof, what do you need? Don't you see the resemblance? Shut up, I'm nothing like him at all. Unruly teenagers. I hate them. You, he said the same thing when speaking about the other genomes. I'm not like these guys, he said. Angsty teenager. <laughs> Look at me, I have free will. Wah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like them. I can think for myself. Mm -hmm. His name isn't as gloriously camp. Yep. <laughs> He's hitting it by shoving it up his butt. <laughs> But it's pointless to tell Kuja to go fuck himself. Exactly. Yeah, because he already does it on a yeah. constant basis. His ambition was unbecoming of a genome, but it was perfect for the mission I gave him. To bring war and chaos to Gaia. That was what I sent him to do. To induce an unnaturally chaotic flow. So then why? Why not? <laughs> it's fun. I love that Pokemon. The disruption of the flow of souls is best brought about by war. And what did he do? Uh, he, uh, sorry. What he did for me far exceeded my greatest expectations. What about me? How did I end up on Gaia? I threw you. <laughs> it was fun. When you received the gift of life in Branball, Kuja could not bear it. He could not bear to see a genome with more power than his own. He felt threatened. Kuja discarded you. He dropped you onto Gaia, the world he would destroy. So I was to be your slave, just like Kuja, to start a war on Gaia. Precisely. That is correct. I did not expect Kuja to abandon you, but I believed it was his nature. And to him, bringing war to Gaia would prove his victory over you. Perhaps it is because of his desire to justify his existence that he let you live as well. So that's why the blood of thousands had to be spilled? Are you referring to Kuja's ambition? Or to your own plan to disrupt the cycle of souls? Both! And what exactly by what exactly do you gain by disrupting the cycle of souls or whatever? 
pat on the head. A job well done. <laughs> I love pat on the heads. It makes me feel good. Like I'm worthwhile. <laughs> we must sort the souls. I want to disrupt Gaia's cycle and drain its souls. Filling the void with the souls of Terra. To speed the cycle of souls is to speed the work as a whole. Thus, war. I ho, I ho, must sort the souls I go. <laughs> it's off to war we go. And in time, Gaia's souls are gone, and Gaia becomes Terra. But how? You saw it with your own eyes. You saw the Aoife tree in the mist it emits. The role of the Aoife tree is that of the soul divider. The mist you see comprises the stagnant souls of Gaia. Oh yeah. Nauru. But we stopped the mist, so much for that. All you saw was the back of the tree. Even now the Aoife tree blocks the flow of Gaia's souls. While it lets souls of Terra flow freely. Come and see for yourself. See the true form of this planet. Like a bunch of seashells or some shit. <laughs> what is this? A spiral staircase, dumbass. I mean, think of it as an observatory. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking about the stairs. I was <laughs> A place to measure the radiance of Gaia and Terra. <laughs> I heard you had a lot of trouble with that boss. I hope you beat him someday. I hate moths. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? And what is this weird light? What is the center of the planet? Or that is the center of the planet. Like that word. Yeah, yeah. The end and the beginning of the cycle of souls. The light remains Gaia's for now. But when the blue changes to crimson, all will belong to Terra, and its restoration will be complete. That is why I wrapped up the light in the Aoife tree, to prevent the cycle of judgment of souls on Gaia from inside the planet. Such is the Aoife tree's true purpose, its true form. All you saw was its material form. In a material world. <laughs> the flow of Gaia's souls cannot be changed simply by stopping the disposal of mist. So Kuja is just an angel of death who sends souls to the Aoife tree? Yes, my angel of death. But only until you came of age. What do you mean? His soul is not eternal. I was going to create you next, after all. You mean you won't need Kuja's soul once I grow stronger than him? Precisely. Soon that time will come. What? Well, now you should be fully aware of the meaning of your existence. What? Hey, stop messing with that. Yeah, I'm aware of all the laughter. All the tears I've shared with the people I grew up with, Gaia. Forget all that. You are destined to live among the stars for all eternity. You have the power. Burp, 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 burp. You got the power. <laughs> Everybody dance now. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? Yeah. No! <laughs> you have the power, the position, and the motive to do it. I wouldn't want that kind of power if I only had a place to call home. I need to add a Aru with that voice. Mm. <laughs> My brothers in Tantalus, Vivi, Freya, Amaranth, Quinna, Steiner, Echo, and Dagger. My home is with them on Gaia. If you say I have a motive, then it's to punish all of you who brought pain to my friends. I'll destroy Terra. That's reason enough for my birth here as a genome. Hmm. Regrettable. I thought your soul would be perfect for a new angel of death. I am the new angel of death. 
yours. Damn. Don't you know what it means to meet your maker? Arroo. Shut up! <laughs> I've heard enough of your crap. I'm taking you out right here, right now. I hope it's a lovely dinner. I mean, foolishness. <laughs> <laughs> the body becomes a vessel which greets a new soul. What's happening? A dog whistle. You have very sensitive hearing. <laughs> He's too good to make it to a regular genome. But I have no choice. So did he just get his soul sucked? I think he's, like, getting ready to do that. He hasn't fully done it yet. Ah, gotcha. Sounds like he's becoming more like Nicolas Cage. <laughs> oh, hey, it's Kuja. We are fighting, dream ass. I can't believe I actually returned to this place, but soon, soon the power will be mine alone. <laughs> Just you hit Garland, and you too, Zidane. I'll exact sweet revenge upon you both for insulting me. I'll make the people of both Gaia and Terra know who rules over all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I have a new boat. <laughs> it's beautiful. Look what I got. <laughs> it's very big. It's better than the dragon. Is he sitting on a throne? Yep. <laughs> Who am I? I don't know anything. I can't think at all. No. Yeah, I was called that once. Many people called me that. You always have to show off, don't you? Darn right. Yeah, maybe I do. That's you. Time for me to sleep because of work tomorrow. All right, have a good night, Foxy. Have a good Why, night. you worthless mendicant. Have a good one, Foxy. Yep. Sounds about right. I don't know what that word means. How very becoming of you. Becoming of me? Really learned a lot by traveling with you, Zidane. Yeah, right. I have nothing to teach. You'll teach me many things more important than taste of munchies. No, I don't know anything. You call that friendship? Friendship? Ship? Sedane. I don't know. Who am I? You are always there for me, Zidane. I'm so tired. Me too. Yep. How come you're always so... I am an empty vessel. Zidane. Who? I don't know who it is. I don't know what voice to give him. Come I think on, it's Zidane. Ico. Wake up. Yeah, it is Ico and Vivi. Oh. Zidane. Vivi. Ico. Yeah, one of the best music tracks in the game. Oh, yeah. Thank goodness you're alive. We thought you were dead. Oh. We were so worried. Why didn't you come in here all by yourself? What are you doing here? Well, we came to save you, of course. From the butthole room. Yeah. Look at all these buttholes. There's a lot of buttholes in here. I, don't, like, <laughs> I mean, it, 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 you know what? It, it, it wasn't easy. You went off all alone. Leave me alone. What? This has nothing to do with you. Oh, come on. I always wondered why he had, like, a limp in here. Maybe it's just because he's that exhausted. Yeah, he said he's tired. Yeah. So. There he goes, being the tough guy. Look, Zidane, it's not just about you. <laughs> it's a shitty room. <laughs> Come on, Zidane, don't be like that. Let's... Shut up! Just shut up, you stupid brat! Dang. Rude. Zidane! Aww. 
more babies. Dane, wait up! You need rest, Dane. Will you little twitch just shut up? He angry. And what the hell was that? There's some things kids can't understand. Rude. Kids are more perceptive than you think. Yeah. They're like little sponges that soak up everything around them. <laughs> it's true, man. Kids kids learn like stupid quick. They really do. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. We have our new dagger. And we got Demon Horse. He looks about as tired as you are. Look at how he's wobbling. <laughs> Everybody here is tired. I was at an all-night bender. I guess it makes sense everyone would be tired. I mean, it is the butthole tower. Life is like a box of chocolates at the butthole dimension. <laughs> <laughs> looks like you need some help. Yeah, considering he's flying and we can't reach him now. Yeah. Can we not reach him? I think we can still attack him. Yeah. Just now, I think jump, like, does more damage or something. Oh, Freya. Oh, Freya. Freya. Poor, Freya. poor Freya. What have we done? You're supposed to be strong. Can't you even take care of yourself? I thought we killed it for a second before he even showed up. Yep. Oh, we can just throw a thing at it. Oh, yeah, we totally could if you wanted to. Use one of them wing edges. Yeah. Horn. Oh, God, that almost killed Freya. <laughs> I'm Deuces. Boink. There we go. There you go. Man, those things are strong. The power of Chocobo Hot and Cold. All right, we'll learn Get countdown. Down. And now we got money again. How foolish of you to go alone. Damn hypocrite. Always talking about friendship when you're nothing but a selfish loner. I can take care of myself. Come back, Sedane. I, just, I love the, the, the swapping of, like, their roles now. Yep. Yeah, because Amaranth's looking... Like he, like, he looks like a hypocrite to Amaranth because of this. Yep. And now Amaranth values, like, friendship and working with a team, and Zidane is turning his back on that. Yep. <laughs> hi <-yah! laughs> oh. I will not be defeated so easily. Now I'm mad. I cook you good. <laughs> Steiner... Quina, what are you doing? Avati, taste this! <laughs> <laughs> now I've got the freaking uh, Sonic Heroes Robotnik thing stuck in my head. Wait, what? Uh, at the end of Sonic Heroes, whenever you fight Robotnik in the Egg Emperor-like armor, he keeps saying, Take this! <laughs> Oh, I didn't. I did, I've never played Sonic Heroes. Really? No. Oh, we have to play it at some time. But... Yeah, I've, I've never played. Yeah, Sonic no. Heroes. He'll he'll do an attack, but he'll say it after like every attack. So he just starts spamming. <laughs> take, take this! this take, take this! this <laughs> take this! It's so annoying. That sounds amazing. Why is Steiner Kronk? Because why not? He's a lovable, like kind of derpy character. Yeah. Oh yeah, no. We we we've given. A lot of amazing voices to a lot of these characters. <laughs> do you want to do, you wanna do uh, the voice that you gave to uh, <laughs> to uh, what's his name, the the little dude with the hammer? What? Oh, uh, Cinna. Cinna. Yeah, you want to tell you want to you want to yeah do we Cinna voice. Hey, I'm the bird. Give me the sooner. <laughs> My name is Sooner. I'm with the turtles. <laughs> it's the sweetest chef. Yep. You guys, you're late today. Yeah, we just kind of picked the voice and went with it for a lot of the characters. Yep. Like Garland is uh, Richard Nixon. Yep. <laughs> Baru. There you go, Quinn. You get an elixir. Get that one that I picked up a little while ago. 
I wanted to originally give him Farn, uh, yeah, Professor Farnsworth. Yeah, voice, we were but, originally going to do Farnsworth. But I just, I couldn't do the voice good enough for an extended period of time. That voice is just hard to stay in. I for think, me. I think that, I think that the the Richard Nixon fits him better. It's more menacing. Yep. <laughs> what do you need? But it, it originally like came up because it was just like. <laughs> There's that quote of, I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Yeah, exactly. And that just reminded me of, uh, uh, of, uh, of the professor. Yeah. And it reminded and, and like what Garland's like whole plan is, is to make his planet another planet. Uh, haven't been in these streams lately due to the lack of interest in the Final Fantasy series. So what have I missed? A lot. Yeah, we're we're getting pretty close Actually, to the yeah, end of the game. Actually, yeah, this this is the end of disc three. Yeah. Here. So uh, essentially, to summarize it, uh, well, we'll I'll do it in the next battle. Yeah. <laughs> what an unworthy opponent. So then, you don't can leave us. I still want you to take me a place to have lots of good food. And I have not yet concluded whether or not you are the right man for her highness, mind you. Just leave me alone. I don't want to trouble you anymore. Ah, now we're getting to the root of it. He's willing to help other people with their problems, but he doesn't want to be a burden to anyone else. You know what? I can somewhat relate to that. Yep. I can totally see where he's coming no, from. I, I get it. I, I, I'll I get that way sometimes. Mm -hmm. Where it's just like, no, this is my problem and I'm going to fix it. Yep. And you're like pushing other people out because you don't want to be their burden. Right. I, I totally get that. You're all a bunch of babysitting bastards. Trust me, I know that I'm the worst bastard here. And now he's beating himself up because of it. How dare he? Don't you know that you need hugs? Ah, oh, we got the Jay Leno turtle. Oh god, it's Jay Leno! Ah, <laughs> yes! <laughs> I forgot about the chin that this thing has. Yep, is this... Oh, it's the shell dragon. Okay, I... I, I didn't know if this was Adamantois or not. Real man accepts help when he needs it. Yup. Oh, I've... Okay, these things are all over the place in 14. Yeah. I remember these things. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's glorious, isn't it? That is absolutely a Jay Leno chin. Dang, he just hit you hard. With just a little slap, Holy too. moly. But yeah, no, this is just kind of the the big growing moment for Zidane because it's just this also sets up for what happens in like future Oh god. I think that was supposed to happen though cuz it just immediately sent you to critical. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was supposed to happen. Yeah. Dagger. Is this how you want to solve your problem? War. <laughs> Don't hurt the chin. That's my wish. But Tony Robbins hungry. <laughs> That's all I can think of. <laughs> I am absolutely terrified if he hits Tagger. Oh, I'm going to do Shiva. But yeah, so essentially Kuja was sent to Terra to cause a whole bunch of wars. Uh, so that way people would die. And they set up a, a tree that ended up essentially interrupting the process of reincarnation for souls. Yeah, because he's trying to get rid of all of Gaia's souls that he can, so he can fill up the Terra souls. Right. So he's essentially having people die so he can pluck their souls out of one planet so he can put another planet's souls in so they'll get reborn and with that then the planet will essentially be respawning the people of Terra instead of the people of Gaia yep so he's trying he's trying to make it to where yeah Gaia is working with Terra souls yep but he tried to brute force it one time and it ended up backfiring so he had to do it the long and slow way 
Which is probably why he looks really, really old. <laughs> Dang, that self heal. Okay, cool. So killing people to make them live. Yep, he's killing a population of a planet of people he doesn't know so he can resurrect the people that he does know. Scan you. How much HP you got? Get my good side. <laughs> nope. Oh, well, nope, I can't scan him. <laughs> I am unscannable. <laughs> no information allowed. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Honestly, I, like, what they're trying to do, like, it actually makes sense in the way, like, they explain it. But I think the most interesting element of this game is the contrast between uh, Garland, Kuja, and Zidane. Yeah. Dang it, he went trance right when I got him down that low. Yep. Burr. It's trance time. But, I uh, oh, mini. Nice. Oh, could we have turned him into a tiny turtle? I want to turn him into a tiny little Jay Leno turtle. Aww. Dagger. You try to do everything by yourself, don't you? Try to understand. I don't want to cause trouble to anyone. Aren't we your friends? I want to think so. That's why I always... Look, I'm not from Gaia. I was just... I was just a hairbreadth from just becoming the destroyer from Al of Alexandria. I can't accept your friendship so easily. You've always protected us. But you still don't understand that we looked out for you too. We watched your back while you watched ours. And we believed in you the same way you believed in us. Just like you protected us. We want to protect you. Dagger. Damn. Hitting him with the truth. You're y that. Oh, sorry. I took your roll. It's all good. <laughs> My master tell me somebody give you tasties. You give them tasties too. It's good manners. Exactly. I still not cook you succulent frog yet, Sedane. Quinna. Chivalry requires a knight to look after his comrades in arms. I will not abandon you. And I shall follow you to kingdom come if I must. You remember that. Steiner. <laughs> what am I going to do with you guys? The feeling is mutual. All right, let's go. Wait, where are the four others? You don't think they've been trapped? It's possible. You should not have left them. That's right. I mean, really. Ugh. I'm sorry. Let's head back together this time. Yep. Love Steiner's character growth so damn much. It's great. Oh, yeah. Because now he's just like, you're a brother. Yep. He went from stop, thief, to you're my bro, bro. Yep. That was the other voice I was thinking about. Ooh. Thank you for the tier one sub, Omega Dragoon. Hey, oh. Thank you. How you doing, Omega? Zidane. Sedane, why did you live up? Leave us. I'm sorry. You were right. I need everyone's help. Don't leave us again, okay? Never. So, you had a change of heart. What a busy guy, coming and going all the time. Yeah, but not anymore. We have to stop Garland. Yay! Oh yeah, that's right. Amugu followed me. All the way from Brandball. Cool. Just let me know if you need the rest, Cooper. All right. Now we now we work our way out of this ugh, this asshole castle. <laughs> Cause we're all together now. Doing good. Enjoying Tales of Arise. I am not familiar with that. How are you all doing? We're doing good. We're off on uh, Terra in Final Fantasy IX. Yeah. Also, I have a question. What? Everybody on Terra died, right? Uh, well, their souls are, like, in canisters. Like hibernation, right? Yeah. Then how do they have Moogles? Uh, the Moogles probably just kind of came here when we came in. That's what I imagine. I get, but that... Because they, like, don't know what the Mognet is and stuff. 
Oh, I love Mom Naku, though. Yeah, this is the one from, like, uh, the town. So I was always curious about that, like, because this guy was, like... Maybe at some point, like, one Moogle just, like, accidentally found his way in. Yep. Like, just... And it's, like, never explained. It's just kind of like, yeah, he found his way to Terra somehow. Nobody knows how. Yeah. Or maybe he was always here. And Moogles existed on Terra, too. Eh, I find that hard to believe. Moogles are from space. Just let me have this. Fine. <laughs> That knife that I've been talking about sharpening, there's a reason I'm sharpening it. That's okay. I'll recruit Tonberries and fight you on the field of battle. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, I found a button. Let's press it. Yay! Because when you find a button, you press it. Button. 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 Oh, you failed. Wait. I had no idea how that was working. Moogles are magical and not at all broken. Yep. Moogles are great. They're like fairies. Hey, it's these things. Oh, lovely. Yeah, the things that if you auto if you attack them with a physical attack, they own your ass. <laughs> it's a good thing I have two characters that can magic attack. Yup. This is why having a well-balanced party is handy. Because the game will throw things like this at you. A virus combo. I wish I had a virus combo. <laughs> oh no, it looks like I have vaccines. Convenient. God, that looks so cool. It just does like the, the swing and then it erupts into flame. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I love the aesthetic of that. It's the idea of it. Uh, nope, nope, nobody needs it. Yeah, God, there's like so much I want to talk about the game, but we're just like right at the cusp of the point where I can talk about it before like, you know, spoilers, you know, yeah. I'm just like I'm biting my tongue because there's like so much I want to talk about. You gotta wait. But we're so close. Also, uh, the controller is going to be going to you here fairly soon. Yup. Uh, we got about 30 minutes left in the stream. Yeah, so I just looked at the clock. We might be able to get through uh, some of the castle, but I don't know if we'll be able to get through all of it. Wow, I'm surprised that didn't kill them. Uh, you killed two of them. Oh, okay. There's one. Wait, what? That's the one that took the most damage. How is it still alive? Well, they all kind of like rotate in and out of each other, so it's hard to keep track of which one's which. You know? Yeah, I guess that's fair. Or maybe they share an HP pool, and once you do, like, a certain threshold, they just pop off, you know? Fire a sword. Whoa! Try to save some of his mana. Yeah. Oh, okay. Fire well, well, yeah. Wasn't expecting that to actually not kill it. <laughs> That's okay. He's almost dead. Hey, he's almost dead. He's about to go into his gravestone. Mm -hmm. So actually, I'm curious. What's what uh, for chat? What's y'all's opinions on Garland? I mean, I get why he's doing what he's doing, but at the same time, it's like he's trying to save his people, but he's doing another people to save his people. Yeah, but at the same time, people, people, people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Murder. Anyway, vaccine, because I'm gonna get rid of that virus. Yup. Press the button. Alright, so I, I guess if I get close to one of the things Wong. with the mist in it, then Wong. I fail. Pretty much. That's the gist of it. Damn it. So if I'm just even standing next to one. Yeah, so essentially if you cross between like the gap between one that's activated it'll spawn a monster so you essentially have to avoid the lights hey it's this guy yeah oh if you had queena you could eat him and you could learn bad breath <laughs> which is fun just because i love seeing queen of vomit <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's probably fun yeah, there's actually, there's a lot of monsters on Terra that Queena can eat.
So we didn't even encounter one of them that was over by Branball. Oh no. Yay! That's Yay, he's tiny, slowed, confused, and poisoned. <laughs> Look at him spin. <laughs> Asuna! <laughs> but why would you want to stop it? He's adorable. <laughs> Look at him go. He's, he's ready for battle. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, why did they get rid of everything except for slow? Asuna's never really gotten rid of time stuff. Yeah, I guess so. At least it wasn't a fart. You know what? I would hate to get a fart from one of these things. Yeah, that must suck. Do you think because of all of the pipes on his head, whenever he farts, it sounds like an organ? <laughs> Just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the music in Pandemonium is not actually like an organ playing. It's just Malboro's farting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Garland's just like, oh, that. That's just all the mob where I was farting. The Hossbot is back. Really? What, the Hossbot actually came back again? I guess. Did they, did they follow at some point? Oh, great. Well, we'll ban them. Yeah. I didn't get a notification on my tablet, so... Let me go check on that real quick while you do this. Damn it. I was trying to stop right there. Yeah. This is one of the instances where actually setting it to walk might be better, or holding the walk button. Mm. Hey, you want to know the best part about it? What? It's mandatory. Oh, I, I, I kind of figured that. Yep. All right. Let's see what we got here. Get rid of the hotspot. That's just the one it looks like. How dare the hotspot be a hotspot? I'm gonna fend your friend rear your asses. There we go. We got rid of him. Here, I'm gonna give you chat. Go to the restroom. You're leaving me. Yeah, I gotta pee. How dare you? He had to go to the bathroom. Also, I can't see chat. Hang on a second. Well. He got out of chat. All I'm seeing... Okay, there we go. Now I can see chat. And yeah, he got rid of the hotspot. Uh, well, that's a... Uh, Alright, fine. Ether it is then. Ah! I hate these stupid things. Oh, if you physical attack them, you will be murdered. Dumb. Fire on you! I'm gonna make you explode and roast your cherry asses and eat you later. You gotta at least invite him to dinner first. No. I'm going to eat the cherry first. That cherry will be eaten, whether it likes it or not. Uh, so it doesn't have a choice. Exactly. Random question. What? Do dogs like blueberries? I don't know, actually. I was thinking about picking up some like frozen blueberries for like a baking idea, but then I was like, I wonder if Boomer would like blueberries. <laughs> So that's where my brain's at. Where's y'all's brain's at? Uh, well, my brain is at fighting these stupid little cherry things. So there you go. What? What happened? Well, I banned one, and now another one followed. It's like, does it respond to when you ban one? It, like, sends another one? No. It, it, they just show up in droves. Yeah. So yeah, now you gotta it's, ban another it's one. It's not showing, uh... I might have to go into, like, mod view uh, so I can see the names. Because they aren't showing up in the view we're using on the tablet. Fucking hotspots. Yeah. What word is that? Is that watch? 
Uh, I don't know. You, you might have to get up again. Yeah. That's just, I don't want to keep having to get up. Oh, I get it. But, hot spots. Alright, pressing the button. What? That counted? That, how did that count? I didn't step through that. Oh, that's bull. Alright, I'm fleeing. That was bull. That did not that that should not have counted as a as, as a walkthrough. How do I go into mod view on the tablet? No, I, I don't know. It. Is there a way to do it? Like, okay, look. Uh-huh. Do you see where I'm standing? This counted. Aw, oh, that sucks. That's ridiculous. Yeah. I can report myself. Don't do that. <laughs> why is that an option? Please don't. <laughs> I know, but why is that an option? Okay, there's a timer on it, too. Yep. Go there. for it. There we go. Flee! Oh, oh, okay, so it's me. It's needed for the bridge. Yep. That's right. And you do not want to be on the bridge when it goes off. Nope. But Congratulations, you've solved a puzzle. Give but me that. Oh, what? Uh, current altitude, current heading, standard heading. What? What is this? It's an elevator puzzle for the next room. Oh, great. Well, what's over here? Oh, I so see. So you see the little, yeah, there's a platform in the center. Okay. And based off of, like, what you set it to, it'll change shit. How many are there? Okay, so there's four. Five. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, but I think zero counts as one. See how it's rotating. Okay, so I think I set it to one? It was already on one. Oh, it was set to one. Yeah, okay. it started on one. Alright, then let's try zero. Okay. I don't know how this puzzle works. Uh, so in conclusion, yes, dogs can eat blueberries. Awesome. It's all good, dude, uh, gamer dude. What? I can't Bow. jump? Nope. You have to have it spinning the right way. That's dumb. To make it more annoying. But now you know what direction you need the little dongle pointing. That's dumb. It kind of looks like a little USB drive. Eh, a little bit. I can jump. I should be able to jump. Yeah, but the barrier says no for safety reasons. Stupid girl. Hey, you could eat this thing for an ability with Queena, but you didn't bring her! Well, I'm sorry! <laughs> That's okay. What do you want me to do? Dance? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> oh my god. You're getting a cure off. He just murdered Zidane almost. <laughs> almost. Almost. With one almost. of their little tiny almost. praying mantis smacks. Almost. Almost. Ah. Either you're wearing terrible armor or we are under leveled. Because I do not remember these guys hitting that hard. I think he just had a really hard hit. Yeah, maybe. Make me happy! High wind! <laughs> Sorry, I heard a sound effect, that's why I was looking over there which one it was. Oh, it was Make, make me, me happy! Make me more happy! Boink! Ooh. Poor Abaddon. Isn't Abaddon like one of the arch devils or something? Damn it, Steyer had a virus. Yup. You tend to pick those up in Pandemonium. 
You know, that actually makes a lot of sense that, like, you're in Pandemonium. That's, like, in D&D, that's the name of, like, one of the, the layers where, like, I forget if it's demons or devils are. Huh. They're still pulling from D&D to this day. Good, because d and is very, very awesome. Or there may be, like, other references and stuff. Ooh, raises counter activation rate. Okay, so if you had the counter thing activated, you'd make it happen more. I always thought counter would just happen every time. That's what you get for not vaccinating before traveling to another planet. <laughs> Trying to see if there's anything here that protects against virus. I'm assuming not. Nope. Um, virus is the only status effect in the game you can't protect against. That's dumb. I gotta make it annoying somehow. <laughs> dumb. Actually, uh, having virus on your party is actually how you can do a level one challenge of run of this game. Well, that's silly. And. Why would anyone do that to themselves? I don't know. To drive themselves crazy and make themselves feel fancy whenever they win. I think you need to do one more. I think it need to be three. What? What do you mean? Because it's not quite pointing in the right direction. You need to do like three or five for the heading. I'm... You're already on two. Okay, I don't know how this works. Okay, so you see the little dongle on it? I just see five settings. Yeah. So, like, well, so exit, zero. exit this menu. You see the little floaty thing in the center? Uh, yes. So that, whenever you change the heading, is going to spin it in a direction. And you need the dongle to point to one of the platforms that you can actually reach. So try setting it to three. And you see it spins. Now go to the other room. Right, and I, I get that. I just, I thought there was only like six settings, including zero. Yeah, there are. But you need to have it facing a certain direction because see, now it lines up with the path and you can right. get onto it. When it was two, you couldn't get onto it because it was pointing off to the left. Makes sense? Well, yeah, I get that, but... Uh, uh, I was just saving you some running back. Yeah, I... I well, I... I, I don't know. I, I, I guess I don't understand how it works, because... Like, what, it, it almost seemed like there were multiple settings. There are. Well, it, yeah, because there's only the, the six turns. Yeah. So how do you set the multiple settings? Because all I see is, like, the one... Yeah, no, you can only change the spin. That's all you control. Okay, I thought it was implying that, like, you know, you set one setting and then you set another one. No, all it does is just control the spin of the platform, and that's the only thing it sets. Okay, so there's only six correct options. Like, there's only six options to choose from, and one of them is the correct one. Right. Well, okay, that's what I. Sometimes it can be more than one, and that's where the puzzle comes in. How in the hell would it be more than one? It'd be easier to show you than try and explain. Yeah, I'm not getting it. Uh-oh. I go did. Yeah, I'm working on it. Well, I mean, it might die before I get her up. Or, actually, no. No, they're a bit hardier than you think. Which, you yeah, know, works in this case. Please don't be Ico. It's Ico. I just used an elixir too. Great. Well, Vivi thanks you for it. Yeah, but I needed Ico to get that. That's why I don't use elixirs all that often, is because of stuff like that happening. <laughs> it's always my luck, so I just stopped. He can fly. He can fly. He can fly. There we go. It's weird watching them fly because their tentacles are all dangly and. 
He just looks weird. You know? Yeah. Like, something like that shouldn't be able to fly. Well, there's a lot of things in it. 14 that can fly that shouldn't be able to fly. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, when y'all get famous, you should add us all as mods randomly without uh, without you knowing. So when uh, we get there to find out, they've given us power. Abuse it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if only we could be famous. Yeah, maybe one day. You never know. <laughs> yeah, there might be like there might be something that happens where we just suddenly go viral and now everyone knows about us. Yeah. Yeah. I do this for funsies, so if yeah. it happens, cool. If it doesn't, cool. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. That, like, that's always something that weirds me out. Is like just waking up one day and then you send me like a message, like, "Uh, you should look at how many followers we have." And I just go look, and I'm just like, <gasps> "Whoa, that's a lot of Whoa! money." Why the random seven? Okay. I, 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 I don't 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 ask. Oh well, okay. Let's not go down. <laughs> oh, that's right. I took the little thing. That's right. Yep. So now you're kind of understanding. So you can call the elevator to any of the platforms, but it might not be facing the right way. Oh, great. Well, what now? So, you used a higher platform to get back down. So, I think it was one of these two. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. So, now you can go back to the entrance and change the heading so you can try and go a different direction. Or you can bring it to the bottom and change the heading there. But you see where now the puzzle element comes in? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I kind of get it. So that's why you want to control the rotation. Yeah. So I think the current one you have, I think, would be five is the next heading you could use. Yeah. But this whole puzzle is just wonky. Yeah. It's a little tricky to figure oh, out. Actually, we I think we needed four. I think we went too far. Oopsies. I bad. All right, then we'll go back and set it to four. Yup. And that's where it just, like, this is where you end up getting, like, the most experience from this area, is just doing all this back and forth with this damn elevator. <laughs> oh. oh, I wonder if I can call it there. You. Hey, I totally can. Yay. Woo. It was at this moment that he no, knew. But we can go up and try up. one of the higher ones. It might work. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it'll face the right way if I call it from here. Uh, hey! Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Look at this guy figuring out the foozle. Let's go. Oh god, what am I looking at? Teleport puzzle. Oh god, no. No! So, I'll go ahead and let you know, it's not a teleport puzzle that's random. <laughs> there is a logic to it. No, no, I hate teleport puzzles, I hate them. It's not that bad. I don't This like is them. like, this is the baby teleport puzzle. I hate all teleport puzzles! Well, congratulations, you just solved it. But you didn't get any of the loot. I didn't even. I, I wasn't even trying. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I wasn't even trying. <laughs> I literally went to two places randomly. Yep, you just happened to choose the right path. That's amazing. What the hell? Yep, just like in Sabrina's gym. Yep. Have you figured out the puzzle of so how the portals work? Not really. Okay. To me, I still see them as random. You want me to explain it? <laughs> no. Okay. I'll figure it out. Then I shall be silent. I will give you no more hints. <laughs> Except for one. 
It is up to you, stupid. <laughs> that is my heat. Now go home. <laughs> Get out of my house. I kick you out into front yard. Go. <laughs> there we go. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. What do you think now? Yeah. Bet, you bet, bet you wish you got your vaccine now, huh? <laughs> yeah, now you can't get any experience or ability points. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Should have gotten that shot. <laughs> you gotta go get your flu shot every year, you know. And you gotta keep it updated. Yeah. I actually need to get my flu shot. I always thought the flu shot, like how they make it, always was kind of weird. We're gonna give you a, a very tiny piece of the flu virus that came out this year. And we're gonna inject your arm with the remnants of a dead chicken. <laughs> That's basically what they're doing. Pretty much. <laughs> no, don't you dare bring up that mess. <laughs> Dova. That gem alone messed me up so badly. <laughs> Sabrina's gem, yeah, the teleport puzzle. Ugh. Oh, so it only goes to the nearest ones. It's not random. Yeah, it just goes to the one directly above or below it. Okay. So, so that's it's a, not as random as I think. It's it a is. visual optical puzzle, more than a teleport Good. puzzle. Well, at least it's better in that way. Uh, like well, it. I finally finished one anima weapon in Final Fantasy XIV. Nice. Congratulations, Harley. Now to work on the weapon I wanted the most. Ooh. Got some battle boots. Yep, battle boots. Uh, Ooh, HP 20%. That sounds nice. Yeah. Can go nice with his auto regen. Yeah, I, uh... I, uh... I ain't doing no animal weapons. I don't remember which tier the animal weapons were. Uh, that was the heavens room. Oh, yeah. I was actually working towards that one, I think. Yeah, it was a bitch. Yeah... That's where I Actually, came yeah. In. If you want to get the other treasures, you're gonna have to go that way. But yeah. I came in this way. Yeah, trust me. I came in this way. Trust me. It says go down one floor. Yeah. See the other red portal. The, the, this will take me back to where I came from, right? Yeah. But there's two red portals in here. Red portals are other zones. There's another portal in this room. Really? Yep. So if you go off to the top right. Boop. Oh my god. Yup. Don't you love puzzles? I mean I love puzzles, but I hate teleport puzzles. <laughs> I I am not into teleport puzzles. puzzles. I think that one will take you down to that treasure chest, yeah. yeah. No, like, I love solving puzzles, don't get me wrong, but teleport puzzles? Mm -hmm. Fuck them. <laughs> uh, I think you're being follow botted. Yeah, we ban them as we can, but it's one of those things of just, like, I'm not going to waste the entire stream trying to deal with them. Oh, did we get more bots? Probably. We'll just have to wait until the stream's over and then get them all in one big swoop. That's usually what I do. Just don't click on them, and you'll be fine. Yeah, as this it is, is. What, this is why we need to actually have moderators, damn it. Yeah, <laughs> so they can take care of it for us. We really need moderators. We keep putting it off. Yeah. Well, I thought you were going to talk to him about. I it. was going to, and then I got busy. Fair enough. And I keep beating myself over the head for it. <laughs> just gotta make the time. Like, I already know who we want to be moderators. It's just a batter of freaking, you know, be all like, hey, how's it going? Hey, want, to want do? Yeah. So, oh. does he have a new weapon? Uh, he yeah, has we a have few. Yeah, we have the Defender. Ooh, Thunder Ooh, Slash. Thunder Slash. That's one of the abilities that uh, Beatrix had. Actually, yeah, it is. Check the rest of his equipment. What's that? I feel like we had better equipment for him. Yeah. You've been using subpar equipment on Steiner. <laughs> well, the herd dirty be the bad beauties about it. 
Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff he could have been learning. I've had a pee to poop a deed to pop head pop. Exactly. That is my retort. You big goof nut. I have given you my retort. <laughs> shut up and eat my and eat this sandwich. What, what were you about to say? <laughs> I was going to say eat my sandwich, but then I was like, no. <laughs> so I was like, okay. <laughs> I, I had to reword it to eat this sandwich. <laughs> See, now that I think about it, I don't think there's a way to, like, auto-ban, like, names, right? No, there isn't. Yeah. Oh, this is what I picked up just now. Yeah, ooh, auto-regen for him. Nice. The carabini man. So I think you have him learning counter right now. Auto life. Yup. Oh my god. Yeah, we we getting all the goodies now. Oh my god, auto life. Holy shit, get that to me. Oh well, that decreases the strength. <laughs> yup. Does he really need it though? Auto fortress. Well, it depends on what you want to do. If you want to teach him auto life or whatever. Yeah. Let's Oh, he has a new stat. Meteor! Yeah! Meteor! Damn! See, there's all sorts of stuff we could have had. Well, I'm lazy. Ooh, return magic. I'm a lazy, lazy person. It's essentially like magic counter. And also, I'm always criticized for spending too much time in menus, so I was trying to not be that. That's fair. <laughs> But we get to listen to the lovely music while we do it now. And that makes it forgive Ooh. <laughs> yeah, half MP, that's uh that's nice. Ooh. I think he just wet himself, chat. Ooh. <laughs> half MP you say. Yup. Ooh! It's very nice. <laughs> Hamlin! Kiraga! Oh my god. I am such a stupid idiot. <laughs> I have been making this harder for myself this entire time. Yup. You're so silly. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't P. <pee. laughs> I'm not gonna go in that direction. Ooh, holy! Nice! It was at this moment that he knew. Wow, wow, wow. When did we get all this good shit? Uh, we've had it for a while. Uh, let's play a game. Whenever I in chat make a typo uh, and notice it, uh, I'm not going to fix it. Instead, I'm going to make it so bad that I won't even be able to decipher what hieroglyph shit it is. And you're going to try and decipher it like the archaeologist you aren't. Sounds like a good plan. Uh, when we get to Garland, we're going to one-shot him. Yeah, we're, uh, we getting, we getting beefy now. We getting all the goodies. Although, if we went to go fight Osmo right now, we'd still probably die. Raise the strength of my dolens, you say? Hmm, yes. Oh, goodness, I do love that. But you're at the point in the game, if you wanted to turn off level up, you probably could. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like gaining levels. I like levels. <laughs> Cast life in battle. Yep, you get one free death. Yep. With Darn this right. with this coupon. <laughs> At Walgreens. Uh, I don't want to get rid of this killer. 
Well, you'll have to free up four points somehow if you want auto life. There we go. I have lots of eye drops. There we go. Now he's strong. I don't need to see my enemies. Yeah, why would I need to do that? Oh, Draga. You're welcome. What direction were we heading? Uh, places. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, you haven't gone to the top one. That's right. Have I not? No, yeah. Oh, no, I haven't. Yeah. Oh, I haven't gone to the top one yet. I, I don't those. like the walls. They look like eyes. Yeah, but the eyes been plopped out. Yeah. It's just, uh, It's unsettling. Uh, but then again, I know how you are with eyeballs. Uh, <laughs> Or the lips. They kind of look like lips, too. Oh. There was a third teleporter in this room. Ha 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 ha! Uh, well, anyway, we need to take the bottom one. Take the bottom one now? Yeah, because this goes to the Moogle and the save point. And the... What? There was, there was no... what? Fireworks. Why are people firing off fireworks? I don't know. It's a good question. I just what don't... are they celebrating? I just don't question it in this neighborhood anymore, man. <laughs> the hell are they celebrating with fireworks? Uh, quinceanera. <laughs> Goes back to the tales of the Borderlands and the spork with the eye socket. Yep. Oh, God. We're going to take a nap right here in the middle of the tower. Yep, yep they're celebrating the end of summer. Is y'all's auto mod okay? I type in kill the bitch and it says I'm being checked by mods, but I say kill the bitch and it's completely fine. I have no idea, man, because what it is is Twitch has its like auto mod like default thing. We can uh, we can um, allow certain words. So like, there's certain words that people have typed in the chat that can Twitch we just turn off auto mod or we can't they make it mandatory okay that's but what, well, but what we can do is we can whitelist words whenever somebody says something that twitch removes right so that way it doesn't happen again yeah i just i can't do it from my tablet yeah this is part of moderators anyway this is why this is my first time using magnet and my first letter cooper hmm what should i write about cooper what the heck was all that about cooper <laughs> <laughs> letters uh, what's that. my god <laughs> all right i'm saving the game and it is past 10 o'clock so yeah we're gonna go ahead and call it a stream here which is good because we were about to go into a really big long series of cutscenes in a boss fight yep so we're going to continue this next week and we're gonna have to give everybody their comeuppets then yeah their comeuppets what are we talking about <laughs> and what? Had to do a stretch. Thank you all for joining us. We <laughs> shall see you on Wednesday for more uh, Oblivion. Right? We're just yeah. about done with the Shimmering Isles, I would imagine. Uh, shivering, shimmering, shivering. It, you you say shimmering because we had to go to a Shimmering Isles on this game. Yeah, it? it's confusing as hell, man. Yep. Um. So yeah, we're we're getting ready to finish the Shivering Isles expansion. I don't know if we'll finish it on Wednesday. We might. Um, what I will say is, uh -huh. Oblivion has been going for a while. Um, so right now I'm debating if we're going to end it with the Shivering Isles expansion, or if people want, we can go do the Knights of the Nine expansion. Hmm. I don't know. So uh, I'm going to leave that up to the community. If you guys want to see us play through the Knights of the Nine expansion, we'll do it. But I think I'll go ahead and say, if we do end up playing Knights of the Nine, that'll probably be the last thing we do. Yeah. Um, so, because there's not really a whole lot left, to be perfectly honest. Yep. Um, and we've, we've already played a lot of the game. <laughs> yeah, no, we've, we, we beat the story. We're getting ready to beat Shivering Isles, the biggest expansion in the game. And... We're about to potentially do Knights of the Nine, which Knights of the Nine is just like a series of like it's another Side quest. quest. It's another quest line that takes place in the core map. Right. Um. So, 
But hey, if people want to see us do that, we'll do it. Uh, yep. But I'll probably say we'll wrap up that, that playthrough once we do that. But I am debating on us moving on to another game once we finish Shivering of House. Yep. Unless people want to see Knights of the Moon. Which I know TC has been really pushing us for us to play uh, Mass Effect. She has been really pushing that one. Mm -hmm. The problem with that, though, is... I don't want to go from like one long series to immediately another super long series. That and also, that just... Well, actually, no, that's not true. That game is voice acting. Yeah. So, yeah, we wouldn't be giving voices to characters or anything like that. So, I, yeah, we could do that remotely. I feel like we should do like some... like like one shorter quicker quirky kind of game and then maybe jump into another bigger game yeah i'll be fine with that but we'll figure it out because oblivion has been a long playthrough so yep you know at that point i would i would like to do something a little bit shorter as well but anywho we got that going on wednesday oblivion on wednesday more uh what was it that M more what not more what did we hit on the wheel on um, for friday Oregon Trail. That was right. Oregon Trail. Yeah, we're going to play Oregon Trail yeah, on Friday. We're going to die of dysentery on Friday. Yep. So you can look forward to that. And we got more Final Fantasy IX next Saturday, which it looks to me like next Saturday the controller is going back over to you. Yep. And then at that point we have, we probably have two more streams of this game and then we'll be done with this one. Yeah, because I imagine once the controller goes up back over to you, you're going to want to start like going around doing some of the other stuff before finishing the game. Probably. You know, I imagine that's what you're going to want to do. So, but yeah, until then, you guys have a wonderful evening. Thank you for joining us. We shall see you on Wednesday for more Oblivion. Have a wonderful evening, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. To understand why you do anything? No, not really. That's how I live my life. I never understand anything that I ever do. Ever. I just go with the flow, baby. <laughs> <laughs>